You know, a wise fellow once told me, if you want to be great, you gotta put in the work when no one's watching. I don't want to be great, so we're live, but I just want to shoot great ones instead. Fellow friends at it again, tonight I'm at it solo. Uh, Kyla said something about, I'm just so sick and tired of looking at bottom boy in chat. I don't remember what she said, it was really rude. <laughs> I kind of, to be 100% honest, I legit just wanted to get to hang out with Chad a little bit more tonight, because I don't think I've gotten to do that on a Great One Grind stream just yet, and uh, that's going to be the plan. A wise fellow indeed. <laughs> you got it. What's up, Ryan? Hey, Kian. So I had a, a theory about your albino you kangaroo. Like a piss ant. Thank you, Paul. In your uh, your sanctuary. I'm assuming it's random spawn every time, but a thing that Mel and I noticed, and maybe it was just early access, maybe this is not how it works. But the non-host couldn't see any animals in the sanctuary. Which if it's just spawning random things there, I don't think that should be a thing. So I'm curious if there's maybe, that's a pretty good start, uh, you know, some kind of albino ruin on your map somewhere. If you find a level two albino, I will be very intrigued to see what's going on there. Legit just bought Emerald Coast and my first kangaroo was a diamond? There you go. I've uh, I've been trolled like 12 times. Uh, what are we grinding? Um, you know, turkeys. Just fallow deer. We'll, we'll see if we maybe end up getting a great one and <laughs> to change to something else, but I assume we'll be grinding fallow deer the duration of the hunt. Sounds good, kid. I see you. Oh, that wasn't even close. Next run, it'll be then. There is three level night crocs right next to each other. Which one do I shoot? Are you in multiplayer? Because that sounds a little sketch to me. I don't know if those memberships go through, but B-Fries, thanks for the seven months. Welcome back. Wow to see just how long I've been a member alone. Dude, I know. Every time the months go up, it's like, is this really... Is this what's happening right now? Has this much time passed? Your stream begins just as my will to stream <laughs> ends. Did you, did you have a stream up? Oh, it just started pouring down rain. Nice. First level night croc, and it was a diamond? There you go. Yeah, Kyla got one. Meanwhile, I've been trolled three times. Uh, I bought 1.2k 300 rounds yesterday. I'm down to 570. You are cruising. I've bought in total, well, let's say I've had in total, because I had 208 rounds to start with. I've purchased 1,000, and I'm down to 200, so I've shot about 1,000 rounds now. Beef fries, thanks for getting the sub to... Otter with a PJ sandwich. That is a 12 out of 12 name. Really appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you. If you're not in the Discord, don't mind me looking the wrong way. Uh, Otter, be sure to join that. Link up your YouTube, get the member roll. Take advantage of that good stuff and enjoy the emojis and green name here on YouTube. Is there a decent fellow in there? This happens every time. And what I guess I could do is try to fast travel out in front of him. I never know how to deal with this particular zone. There's a lot of... You know, nuances and little things to a grind you can do better. I definitely am not doing all of those perfectly just yet. First time I've ever been called Bee Fries. In order to order the fries, you have to be the fries. There's one other one. I honestly just feel like, even though chocolate is definitely an uncommon based on the amount of times we see it, there's like something to chocolates being bigger size. Like, I just see a lot of good ones. You just change your setup there? I feel like maybe a tent here instead of the lodge, because I just get the impression it takes longer to spawn into the lodge. But this worked, like, we got here before they did. Just an extra fast travel back to claim stuff. Got a melon as a croc and two light browns thanks to the grinding? Dang! Do you have an idea of, like, how many you've shot? The melon as a crocodiles do look really cool. That's... Something for down the road, I guess, because at the moment, the grind will be here on Tailroa. Okay, I guess because we were running over here, I ran out of breath. Two out of three ain't bad. Why Tailroa? In terms of, like, total number of fallow deer and amount of fallow deer we can kill, say, per okay, hour. Okay, but what if you died? If I died, I wouldn't be able to answer the question. Um, I, I just think Tailroa was more efficient, basically. I can't be the only one whose heart stops a little seeing a huge chocolate because of the mellow conditioning. So I literally just put a chocolate fallow in my trophy lodge. And 
I put it on the wall. It literally looks like a Mela hanging there. Flantro kills like 12 Fallow an hour. Speaking of that, hang on. How many have we just killed? You might guess. Oh, why am I doing that lately? I've been I've been shooting Fallow deer. Let's go. It's going to start here. Have I really not shot any Fallow in three hours? I guess I was making a thumbnail. So we've killed four and we're at 57,000. So we started at 57,026. Will I remember that number? If I write it down, I will. We'll see what we end at. Just shot a troll Rusa and troll kangaroo. Emerald, emerald trollst is pretty, pretty bad for that stuff. Okay, I see blood. What are you doing all the way over there? I didn't even shoot you from there. <laughs> we're up in that tripod. I think it's going to be f ah, probably faster to go to the tent. We're backtracking. I don't like it. It's free on Steam and it's on my computer now. There you go. Good deal. Got a 1078 scoring croc today. Not too bad. It's not a good feeling to smoke a gold piebald fallow and a gold piebald mallard back to back. Mela needs to get a melanistic fallow in the spot. She had a Mela mallard in one of her grind locations. Hey, thank you, Grady. Just killed a troll leucistic kangaroo. Literally right before this stream started, I saw someone post a troll melanistic. I don't know if rare kangaroos are maybe not as rare as some other things, or if the numbers that you can find kangaroos in are contributing to the, like, the amounts of rares that are showing up. There's a spot. It's like in the southwest corner of the outback. There's just so many kangaroos down there. Like three or four groups rest in the same spot. It's just ridiculous. What will you shoot the Great One Fallow with? Uh, if we ever do find one, and I do feel good about our chances with Fallow more so than Bear and Moose, I will probably stick with the Hawk Edge compound bow. My whole thing is, like, I'm not choosing to use a bow because it's a challenge or because I, uh, I think it makes me look cool or anything like that. The entire purpose of it is using a weapon that requires me to get close to the animal to make a good shot guarantees that I'm not going to rush the encounter. I'm going to get to enjoy it. It's going to probably be 5, 10, 15 minutes from spot to kill. And that's just what I want out of it. Like, I don't want it to be, there's the great one, 150 meters out, boom, dead. Like, I want it to take a while. This is, oh, that's decent four. This is a little bit different. So usually this is not how these spawn. Like, it's either one buck over there, or sometimes two. There's never does there. But we still can, if we get over 250 meters from them, make this work and get both herds. Now, making the shots in this awkward setting may not work as well, but we shall see. Ah, we hit the, the dough there. I tried, tried to throw the needle. Spotted an albino salty croc and lost it, then let my friend hunt and he got it. Was it decent size at least? What's the best loadout for Emerald Coast in your opinion? That's a tough one, because, like, I really like the drilling combo gun for that map. It works really well, but there's that... I'm just... I'm so afraid to recommend that gun for the map, because I don't want to be the reason somebody accidentally shoots, like, a diamond Rusa with birdshot, because they didn't switch the barrels over. So if we don't go with the drilling combo gun, what I've been carrying is 7mm, 22250 or 243, take your pick there. 16 gauge and 22. My zones keep changing. It's weird but manageable. That's the thing with Fallow. Like, I'm using tripods. I don't want to have to move stuff around. I just thought of something, too. Um, but, if you delete zones, it is not the end of the world. They're not going anywhere. Saw level 5 Magpie Goose and lost it. Any tips? Do you have a general idea of what direction it was flying in? Trolled by one by 1.8 by a huge chocolate fallow. The grinds are really interesting. I, Kyla has 11 diamonds and one troll. I have like three diamonds and two trolls already. It seems like they're either trolling or they're not for people. Managed to get both an albino croc and earlier today I found, as I'm fast traveling, uh, an albino stubble quail. Nice! I am thinking they're more common than anybody would have maybe expected, but 
it's actually cool that people are going to get to see them and get them. So, there's a little bit of a, uh, what would you call it? Anticlimactic thing, but there's an albino fallow at this lake. It's not big, but I came around the corner earlier and I spooked it, and I didn't want to just take a bad shot, so when we go over there, that'll be a thing. Imagine herd management on quail? I don't think you could. Herd management is really reliant on zones and, like, repeatability, I guess? As I understand it, like, people who herd manage have a pretty good idea of, like, where and what every animal is on the map, or at least of that species. I don't think you could do that with quail. Uh, just set up for a grind, but I haven't shot anything yet? It won't take you long with fallow, I can tell you that much. Herd management, <laughs> management, management is also icky. Herd managers have cooties, is that what you're saying? Absolute favorite animal in the Hunter Call of the Wild. There he is. Uh, if I really consider everything, probably models. Uh, that's such a tough question. I think probably pronghorn and mountain goat. They're kind of tied for me. They're some of the best looking animals in the game, and they're generally enjoyable to hunt. They took away mountain goat drink times, which maybe has made them a little bit less fun to hunt, but it does mean they're a challenge. I found what was ultimately a troll, but a level five mountain goat not too long after they took away their drink times. And I was like so proud of myself for finding it. And then, you know, it trolled and made me sad. Is this an uneven level two? Sure is. It's so cute. Big male. Yeah, Kyla has a really nice albino, I get that. <laughs> the Great One Fallow is the best Great One? I think you can make a very good argument for it. I won't disagree with you. You think that's a small male albino? Mine's a spike level one. To be honest, that might as well be a super rare, though. Follow a question, what's your favorite animal in general outside of games? I mean, white-tailed deer in real life, like, they are and forever will be my favorite. Thought it was a white? I've seen, I would guess, in different lighting and stuff, probably 10 to 15 times a white fur type fallow that's made my heart jump and I think it's an albino. The moment I saw that one, I knew. Just want the Megaloceros rack? Man, somebody posted... It was like back to back. I think both painted a spoon rack, which is... I don't even want to say the one I want. It's like my favorite for the story that in my head I will concoct behind it, but um, I like them all, I really do. So there was a painted spoon rack and then a painted Megaloceros back-to-back -back posted today, and it's just these more than any else, any other great ones, maybe again because I feel that it's more achievable. Every time I see one posted, I'm like I gotta, I gotta go grind. Like, I gotta quit doing whatever I'm doing. I recorded on Emerald Coast yesterday yeah for what is today's video for three hours and by like the 90 minute mark i'm like i gotta get this wrapped up i gotta <laughs> i got fallow to kill what's the hour and a half thing How long is it gonna last? we'll see who knows could be 12 minutes could be 12 hours it's not gonna be 12 hours I have, at several occasions on this lake, shot two fallows standing side by side and crashed immediately. I think it's why they stopped spawning here. Like something broke when I did that. <laughs> I've been herd managing quail for weeks. Managing to find a herd to manage the managing quail is really hard, I heard. <laughs> Long setup for a pun. New setup for the coast, much better, nice. That's one thing we'll probably do today on stream is run the entire coast. Maybe pick up tents and move things around. I had a... I don't even want to say a rough patch, because I've had real rough patches and grinds. A thousand red deer with no diamonds. Things like that. But I, I had maybe 250 fallow with no level 5s. Which, for fallow deer, is a lot. And I was like, man, like... Do I just have terrible spawns? What's going on? And then I ran the coast and had two 5s 
back-to-back -back zones, both trolls. But it seems to have solved things. I've since killed a couple of diamonds. How long ago did the stream start? Uh, 16 minutes. What's up, Joe? Is this like day seven in a row of streaming? I think. I don't think I streamed Sunday, though, did I? That was the day I picked you up from Pittsburgh. I don't think I did either. Other than Sunday, I've streamed every day since last Friday, so I guess it's really only like day four, but I would have maybe streamed, I would have streamed Farming Sim at least on Sunday, actually, if we didn't have everything going on. Emerald Coast Outposts are, are by far the best looking. They are, the only thing that kills me is they're maybe a little over-engineered in the sense that very little practicality was considered. It's a lot of, I gotta change the time, so I have to go in the door, up the stairs, around the corner, open another door, go to the bed. Like, that stuff kind of bugs me. But I do like that it actually feels unique with each one. Uh, I don't know why Danny's ended up coming up first, but it did. Think of the super chat. Uh, got a road test tomorrow. Pray for me and the car. Is it a nice car? I might pray for the car first. <laughs> That was messed up. Uh, how do I say your name? Raven? Raven? I don't know if I'm saying that correct. Feel free to correct me in chat. Thank you for the super chat. As we fast travel over here. Haven't been able to play games for months due to arm tendon injury. I miss the hunter the most. Thank you for the consistent streams of content. My pleasure. I really, I'm glad that uh, it can help kind of scratch that itch. Is there any chance? I don't know if you're on PC or console. Hey, there's a pie. Two rares in one run. Is there any chance of like somehow setting up a, a controller in some way that you'd be able to play, even if it's like very gently and casually? Should be a kill shot. Both are. So this lake is weird. I have to do a lot of moving around to get things to spawn in. It's basically 1300 and I promise there should be more fallow deer around than that. But as we move, as we go and claim stuff, typically more show up. Which grind is that for, Clark? By the way, I, don't, I forget if it was Twitch or YouTube, but my Nightbot came up and said you were the top chatter for the week, like as in the most messages sent. I appreciate the activity. That's not a pie, that's a deer. Dude, I must be really hungry. That leg sucks. You should see Ka Kyla's. I, it looks like this, but it's all males, actually. <laughs> as soon as we got far enough away, they all showed up. I've never seen anything like, like it anywhere else in the game. Like it's, what did you say, 13 males? I'm losing it from all the streaming, it happens. Okay, so there's four in there. We should definitely try to get the big one. Ooh, that was a little bit back, but it worked. Oh God, not good shooting, that was bad. I don't even know which one we hit. Okay, that helps. Won't have too much tracking after that. That's like I got two diamonds from. My first diamond was here. That we killed on stream with Melancholy Tuesday night, I guess it would have been. And then I had nothing last night for forever. Then right before bed, I got a diamond, two trolls, and I think another diamond so far today. As said before, accuracy and volume. It's just got to be timely accuracy and all, all is well. So this is going to be pie number three, I think. Well, 177. That would have, if I'm not mistaken, been a gold in the past. I think gold used to be 176, but they changed things. I don't know if this is the pattern we have or not. I think this is the one we don't. We will take that. It's going to be interesting. I got to get these fallow in the grind lodge. Like I said, stuff's going to keep spawning in. But probably we're going to have to move red deer and bears and stuff around. I would say I'm um, 400 to 500 kills into the fallow and 11 total diamonds, 3 trolls, and 4 pie balls. I'm in the same kill area. I started this stream at about 500. And I'm going to keep track of how many we killed during the course of the stream. 3 diamonds, 2 trolls, 3 pies, 1 albino. Is this real? No, it's a dream. Did some core workouts? I 
it's drugs to get out of beds? Oh, I see what you're saying. I thought you meant, at first, that your core workout was getting out of bed, but now I understand. Just got a guaranteed troll. Those may be worse than, like, trolls where you have some expectation of them making it. Look at that guy out there. Do I have the 22? I don't. So at certain distances, you can just fire the gun into the air to alert them, but not at that distance. I'm gonna just let that go. Hello? <laughs> we just went through there. It's all about getting a certain distance from the zones. What I should do is move my tents, but the zones themselves seem to be so inconsistent with their location that I don't know that that helps. It's not the same one, is it? 350 band tang in, 9 diamonds, 0 rares, not looking good for the super rare. That does seem tough, but 9 diamonds and 350 kills is a great, like, rate of diamonds. What weapon? That's the 308 AR-10. I've customized it with, I don't even know what it's from, the Easter pack, maybe? The matte black metal? And then the stock and stuff is just dark gray medved paint or something. Lodge is going to be stacked. Imagine how much beef you could have in your freezer right now. They just keep on showing up. I mean, look at this. Part of them, when they're dropping out of the air like that, what's actually happening is we're running into the distance at which they render in, which is about 380 meters. You may hear that and think render is 400, which it is. Render out. They don't render in until about 380. Out is really like 415 too. It's weird. Sounds good, Tuck. Still sticking to the M1 at 308s for weirdos? Well, I'll give you a little uh, sneak peek slash spoiler about the gun I use in tomorrow's video. It is Emerald Coast Hunting, which may not surprise you considering we're streaming so much on Tay. Our videos are going to primarily be on Emerald Coast. And I took the M1 because I thought it would be fun. And a little, like, dialogue I had with myself, I guess, in that video was... You know, should I use the M1 for fallow? There's there's a lot of advantages to it. Particularly, as I've talked about in the past, the very well-known ping. When you fire your fifth round with the 308 and you don't know it, it's just like a waste of precious time for your follow-ups while you're trying to get on target. Versus with the M1, that's just not going to happen because you're going to hear the ping and know to reload. They do, Joe. Uh, thoughts on Great One slash Battle Scarred Lions? Any kind of Great One Predator, I'm all for, like, the Battle Scar look. Lions in particular, though. Mel was explaining on our Saturday stream with, obviously, Mel and KC. Her idea of Great One Lions being kind of, like, based on the Ghost in the Darkness story, which, if, if you don't know about that, two mainless male lions were like attacking and killing a bunch of railroad workers there's a movie on it i don't remember the name of it but somebody here i'm sure will be able to tell you i think it'd be a really cool idea of a great one somehow having two tied together m1 for real mean i don't want to be mean i'm kind to my fellow i know a lot of people are grinding with the 300 i just i don't know I, whether it's fallow or faster than moose, I just, I need that extra time of the saved recoil the 308 gives me to make the amount of shots that are, you know, required for these zones. I think I'm missing one. I really lost track. Low down there. <laughs> missing a live one, not what I meant. What? You had a level 9 fox super troll? That's not fair. You can't have old species super trolls. The new ones are expected. The old ones? Not fair game. You hunt with 12 gauge slugs sometimes? I've done a couple of 12 gauge hunts. Mostly it's just like little, you know, 12 memes, but it's been a while. So let's see. We're 25 minutes in. We're going to have to do a time reset here. And we have killed in those 25 minutes. Uh, what math is hard here? 30 minus 2. 28 fallow. 
more than one a minute is a rate we will take. Got a great one fallow today. What, uh, what combo? What rack and fur? Okay. Gonna fast travel to where we start. I've been starting here and there's been no fallow here, but it was a consistent spot and I've just got a feeling they're gonna show back up eventually. Have you hunted pheasants in your life? Uh, no. It's something I'd want to do, but I've never had the chance. Can you do a border-to-border -border hunt on Emerald Coast? I should probably. Maybe something I'll do in multiplayer. It was a really fun series, and I know, or at least I think I know, it's been, uh, I need to say this without it sounding like it was a thing that was exclusively mine and I didn't want people to copy. Other people have done videos like those, but I'm not saying, like, how dare they. Like, that's cool that other people were doing it. Uh, and I don't know, the last time I did it was probably Verhunga. I keep getting confused about where I'm going. Will you ever do herd management? Unless something is tweaked with the game to where it's... I just went to the wrong map. Uh, <laughs> unless something's tweaked to where it's made, like, an intentional mechanic that doesn't cause diamonds to show up in insane numbers. No. It's... I mean, it's the very definition of an exploit. And that aside, whether or not you think exploiting in the game is good or bad because there's been lots of exploits like if you guys remember Zag Tactics years ago that was a thing that was done by like everybody and that was fine but as someone who makes content and also someone who doesn't shoot like a million great ones right my thing is more so the hunts for diamonds than that it's not worth it to me to use any exploits and leave anything up to questioning because if the perception is, oh, that guy, you know, he, he uses herd management. He probably got that diamond through some other exploit. Then I'm really not going to be able to, you know, make compelling content. So it's just for like my own rep. Wow, that's a male. My own reputation is just not worth it. At this stage, I don't like I'm not saying herd management's bad. I don't care if anybody does it, but it's like that's a line I won't cross for my own sake. Still late in your favorite map? Still is. Whenever we hopefully get this fallow grind done, we'll be heading back to Leighton for the moose grind. Did I ever, uh... I think we claimed the ones we shot over here. I just thought of that. When you don't use herd management, the great ones feel more exciting to get. I mean... I would like to think so. At the same time... If I never get them... <laughs> that's that's where the the uh, the difficulty is, I guess. Small mail. Uh, when you start to go deer hunting again this year, uh, wait. When you start to go deer hunting again this year, hunting again with one of your friends like last time, are you asking like if I'm gonna hunt with Will or Aaron or those guys? I believe I've got potentially two hunts planned with both guys. If every hunt that we currently have planned happens, we should all three hunt in Kentucky, and then I'll still visit Bottom Boy in West Virginia, and then there's a chance Aaron and I hunt their gun season in Indiana. Not too sure about that one. That kind of depends. Ah. That's way back. I hate tracking, but he's not going to go that far. Went fallow deer... I'm guessing fallow deer hunting IRL for the first time? They're sort of a dream species of mine. I really want to hunt them. I just don't want to, like... I don't know. The, the logistics of flying to a place I would need to hunt them is definitely difficult. And I can hunt them in, like, a Texas ranch, but I also don't want to do that. Have you ever hunted mule deer in real life? I have not, but I'd like to. Cracking a cold one. It's a monster. What are we hunting in Kentucky? Just whitetail. Just their bow season. It opens early. At least compared to all three of our home states. So it's basically, I've been talking for a couple of years about doing some out-of-state hunts that extend my season. That's what I'm looking to do with Kentucky. Like, 
you know, get started a week or two earlier. You and Kyle should come to Montana and hunt? I'd love to do that. Um, at the moment, I've been acquiring preference points for a Wyoming hunt. Um, really, for like three back-to-back -back years of Wyoming hunts. What I really want to do is go pronghorn hunting. This is probably 2025. Not because I don't have enough preference points, but because this year and next year are just no-goes with everything that's going on. Like, there's all three... Me and my two siblings, so all three of my parents' kids, are getting married in the next, uh, what, 18 months? So there's just all sorts of stuff going on there. Once all that's over with, that's when I'm planning on starting to go out west and hopefully get into all that. What's up, Benjamin? Could you make a guide for new players? I, I don't know if All-Star is possibly going to end up in the uh, stream today, but I was just talking to him earlier. He was talking about wanting to make a beginner series. I've got one that I did end of 2021, beginning of 2022. I would say that information is, for the most part, still pretty current. But at the end of this year, so in like, even in like four or five months, I am going to do a 2022, 2020, nope, 2023, 2024 beginner series, just because I do one about every two years. So it'll be a bit, uh, unfortunately, but just based on my, my typical schedule, I can't do too many beginner series or it starts to be the same information over and over again. Well, thank you, Clark. Where on Mississippi should I have the crocodiles? As Brandon said, they're not on Mississippi, so my question will be, are you trying to hunt crocs or are you trying to hunt gators? And I don't mean that demeaningly, I just want to know which map you're trying to hunt. 200 kills, my fallow grind. I saw somebody, and it was fitting. They got a great one at 112 kills. It's like, come on, man. I want one of those grinds one day. Ooh, Call of the Wild tends to make my PC extremely hot. Any tips on what I should do? Well, I imagine you've probably tried like lower-end graphics settings and stuff. My old PC, I had that problem. And really, I didn't have a great solution to it other than like try to keep the room cool, because that helped. There's not much you can do other than like replacing the either CPU or GPU cooler, probably GPU. I'm really not the best person to ask. Um, if you're in my Discord, there is a text channel called NerdHub, and that would be a good place to ask to uh, to get that answered. So if you're wondering what on earth I just did, animals between 200 and 250 meters, when you shoot, will go alert but not spook. It's kind of like the 22 strat, except you don't have to shoot near them, and I'm not carrying the 22 because I want tents on me right now. More fans wouldn't hurt. That's true. If, if that's something that you have room for. My last PC that had that problem was an Alienware, and they are very well known for leaving literally no room in their cases for anything. Got a 1058 Croc and a 517 Root today. Not bad, man. Fabled Golden and Small Rack. What even is the Small Rack? Because scoring-wise, what everybody kind of called the big typical rack, I think scores the lowest. And then I think it's Irish Elk... Uh, uh, what's the other one? Not, not spoon rack. I think it's the biggest. Oh, saw blade. Actually, I don't know what that scores. Just shot a level five magpie goose. Nice. I'm thinking they may be a, may be a little more common than like gray lags and tundra bean geese because I've had two already. Which Alienware? Oh, boy. Aurora R5 or something. It's been a while. Sawrax scores the lowest, does it? I thought Sawrax were in, like, the 260s area. Should do a video hunting ruse with a bow. Somebody, I don't know if it was KC, somebody told me getting really close to the kangaroos is actually a bit of a pain, so we'll see. I could just run around and wait till they go aggressive. Would you recommend Way the Hunter? I already have Call of the Wild. I always feel like I put like a bunch of disclaimers on my answers to these kinds of questions, but if you're looking for like a, a realistic hunting simulation, 
with the hunting game, then Way of the Hunter is the way to go. It's, I think, of the more modern games, I think it's the most realistic uh, hunting game. I do not know what happened there. Got no breath, no nothing. Uh, missed the start, anything happened? Uh, what do we kill? A little tiny albino, a level 2, and a level 3 pie bulb. Both silvers. Would be nice if a long shot with a bow was automatic aggression? Like if you just clip them from long range? I like it. Are diamond kangaroos rare? That's a good question. I'd say no. But in like a broad sense, it's no. Like on an individual level, a level 9 kangaroo making diamond seems, seems like it's lower than 50%, like most seem to troll. But there's also a lot of diamonds out there. How many kills in are you? We started the stream at 500 and we've killed 30 odd, so 530 some. I kind of think I'm maybe shortchanging myself like 100 kills. But either I've lost count or I'm just missing something because I know when the update happened we were in the low 56,000 range for like total harvests on like the account we're over 57,000 now so I can't figure out where that extra hundred went because I haven't shot that much stuff on Emerald Coast oh where for Gator sorry I, I'm sure you said that again and I missed it oh what is that dang that's a big four I thought it might have been a small five that would be cool it's the white fur type all right, we gotta do the same thing where we get to a certain range so we don't spook things. So for Mississippi, the river on the far west, if you just run along that river, that's probably got the most gators, you know, per mile, I don't know, <laughs> per unit of running. Big four. Not a bad four beside him either. That one may get away. And these frontal shots are always awkward because I find that if you're not careful, what you end up doing is shooting like between the lungs and not hitting the heart. Probably that guy's gonna get away, but that's all good. Update on my Emerald Coast, and now I have six diamonds and one rare. Nice. We have four here as well. These zones with a oh, five, actually. These zones with so many fallow bucks. They're just. It's not that they're tough to grind, it's really a good problem to have. But it always bugs me when I let stuff get away, and you just kind of have to <laughs> when there's this many. I mean, I've killed five in one zone, but it doesn't typically happen that way, especially when you spot a doe instead of a buck. Well, we got four and could have killed like seven, so that was a little bad. Where did Big Mail come from? Okay, so the lore behind Big Mail is... You guys know G-Man? If you don't, one of my good friends, he... I think he still streams here and there, but he used to make a bunch of YouTube videos, and uh, he made like a DD, I don't want to say a DD parody, because I wouldn't even necessarily call it that. He's probably one of the most avid DD33 watchers out there, like he's seen probably every video. So he was doing a video kind of like imitating DD, and he shot a Kate Buffalo or something and called it a big male. And it, I think DD has said big male before, that's probably where he got it. And it just kind of went from there. It's so community-wide that the official Hunter Discord has big mail emotes. So DD started something really special, and I'm not 100% sure he ever said the words. Uh, Queen Lightheart, thank you for becoming a shoosty. Good to have you here. Welcome. If you're not in the Discord, be sure to join that. Kyla has the link in chat. Join that. Link up your YouTube. Get the member roll. Get all that good stuff, and enjoy the green name and emojis here on the tubes. So, oh, this isn't it. The other one was up to like 260 something. It's probably a 230 or 240, but it looked good at first glance. 236. I like this rack. I don't know if it's the troll rack and just changed a little bit, like the old troll rack, but it's better. You had a level four Bantang with a minimum of 142? Bantang or something else. I, I don't know if they're meant to be how they are, but lot of level 4 diamonds getting posted. Shoost is your legacy? It did definitely become my thing. I don't know exactly how it happened. I know one thing. Like, the whole Shuster Army thing came from 
Zaggy and I were doing a competition. And his... Like, like what we were doing was... If you were, like, watching the videos, are you on Team Zaggy or Team Flitzer? But the... His community was already called the Zaggy Nation. So I needed, like, something. And I don't really know how Shoes to Army happened, it just did. And here we are. Uh, Jake, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate the support, man. 200 kills in the grind currently. Six diamonds, including... Oh, you have a Melanistic Diamond in under 200 kills? That is awesome, man. I haven't seen a Mela since the reworks. Like, I've seen what they look like, but I haven't had one spawn. You had one as well, Alex? I hate that. <laughs> I almost wish they just made it so that couldn't happen. Couple of smalls. See if anything spawned or replaced our albino. Not this time. It's such a weird spot for the show up. Like, I... Typically, there's nothing there. One time, I just shot a couple of fallow here, and then that albino ran out, and... Here we are. Shot him on stream. Should be okay in that second shot. That's always a risk on those hitting the shoulder. Did the stream crash? Everything's fine on my end. Thoughts on Great One Elk? If we're gonna go base game species, Elk's like my number one hope. I do have this, like... What would I call it? Dream scenario where they do a Great One Blacktail and Mule Deer combined. Which probably sounds stupid. But there's this thing called a bench leg, which is a Mule Deer and Blacktail hybrid. And because that exists, I think they could do both Great One Mule Deer and Great One Blacktail. Do two or three variants of the bench leg that I'm talking about. Which either a Mule Deer or a Blacktail could spawn as. And then do two each for Blacktail specifically and Mule Deer specifically. So it's still a base game Great One. You can still get it. But also you can have Great One Mule Deer. That's like the only way I can... If they want to stick with base game species, that's the only way in my head I can imagine a Great One Mule Deer. So I'm just hoping that happens. Do you have to just change the time for them to respawn? I still find... Like, it seems respawns will happen almost no matter what. Like... Whether or not you change the time, whether or not you fast travel, you'll get some respawns, it seems. But as far as getting your respawns into, like, the zones that they're supposed to be in and all that, it does seem best to, like, change maps. Or I think one of the main menu works, too, but I always change maps just because. I don't see any tracks here, so I think we're going to go ahead and skip this spot. We'll go down to part of the coast. Uh, is it... Aster Super X. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Thank you for becoming a Shusty as well. Welcome, welcome. Is the Hunter Power Pack worth it? Uh, I would say generally yes. It's a tough one because it's all calibers that, in one way or another, already exist in the game. Like we have these are the 308 that I'm using right now, though you would need a different DLC to already own that. So, it's comp in the Hunter Power Pack is the Olsen 308, the Bolt Action. And then you've got Bolt Action 7mm and 338, which both of those calibers obviously already exist as base game single shots. But that Bolt Action is, is not something to, uh, you know, underestimate. It really makes a big difference having those follow-ups. Said it correct? I don't know if I'll ever do it again, but I'm glad I got it right on that one. Keep on backing up, got another one. I have to go a little further just to ensure it, but don't go in the water. I hate you. <laughs> Is level 3 piebald quail rare? I don't think they could be piebald. I could be wrong. Doesn't seem like many small birds are piebald. Random kid on YouTube got a leucistic level 9 kangaroo troll? It's been a couple, it seems like. Uh, almost had a white diamond first time, but he trolled by four? That's a rough troll. Actually, I guess I've had some 230s, so... Maybe it is just happening that way now, but... It always sucks when they... When they troll when it's a fur type you like. Your aim is 100 today? I've kinda... I don't know, it was weird today, because uh, if you watched the video earlier... The rare goose that's in the thumbnail, I actually shot while I was editing the video. Because... The whole thing that happened was, I spotted level 5 goose in yesterday's video, killed a level 5 goose, thought I got the one, I didn't, I actually shot a different level 5 goose, and therefore while I was editing, I decided to just 
you know, try to get that other one. And then the rare shows up. And there was just something odd about, like, already having recorded, because I, of course, had to record to put that in the video. I've just felt like I've been more on it today. It'd be a really good day for a great one to show up. Danny, thank you for the super chat. Still for albino roo smoked? Nice. The albinos look cool. They've got that kind of, like, pinkish coloration. One day we'll go and get that guy. Ba -ba -ba. What did that say? Are you going to do a video on the fallow grind setup? Probably. What's so tough about, like, doing it in the sense of a tutorial is semi-useless only because everybody's map's going to differ. You know what? Why am I wasting my time? i got to come back through here. Eh, no, I don't, actually. But yeah, like, I, I could show how my setup works, kind of. Maybe more so than, like, where to place the tents, because tent placement itself, it's really not going to translate from one map to the next. This is probably four-wheeler time. I don't like to use four-wheelers in these grinds, because I know I'm spooking fallow that I can't see. But... I really only planned to go to this particular spot on the coast. And I look really just so cool when I pushed Sir 12 around in the four-wheeler. Uh, did that go through? I think it did. Beastin, thank you for the super chat. Could you show me your zones on tape, please and thank you. Uh, can you let me uh, collect these two fallow? Because it's probably going to be a little bit faster. Oh. <laughs> oh. Has that always happened? I don't think it used to work that way. What's up, Tiger? What rifle caliber do you hunt with in real life? I use a 7mm Mod 8. What is this thing? Just found out the hard way that bean geese troll. They do. Hello. Ugh. Not, not my best. Got it. Yours always blows up? I don't think I've ever been, like, respawned on land with a working ATV. Got my second ever diamond, a white hill, which marks your 1,499th harvest. That's a cool number to get a, a diamond at. Am I doing something wrong if I've killed around 200 fallow and had no diamonds? I wouldn't say so. So you've killed 11 diamonds in your last, like, 500 kills, whatever you're at. Yeah. Is this man in New Zealand? Yes. Bro, had a crowd against this fellow. Hey, you can't just run at me like that. I thought it was a threat. I was scared. Just self-defense. How rare is a Mela Axis? I think they're really rare now. They didn't used to be. But I think they're like legitimately, you know, as rare as you'd expect a Melanistic to be. What happened to the Holy? What do you mean what happened to it? In what sense? Do you think EW will ever actually add a great one European rabbits? Uh, I doubt it. Because... Didn't we try to... Hold on. No, I did click Crimson. Never mind. Anyway. I doubt it because... I think... They're probably... Of the same opinion that I am. In that... A rabbit doesn't produced like the level of majesty that you need for a great one is a mella female merriam turkey rare uh as far as i know to be fair i don't shoot many hen turkeys but it should be i have noticed the posture it looks really funny looks like a very elderly man just getting it wish we had the way the hunter buggies do those things fly I'd be grinding for great ones flying around on them things. Plus, the nice thing in Wade Hunter, it doesn't really spook stuff too bad. Alright, we're really last minute getting up here, but if we make it, we make it. Our albino feral goats rare, very. I think, wonder if they add great one ducks and rabbits, they should add them with other great ones at the same time. Maybe it's just me, but I just don't know that a... Wow. It's getting more and more ridiculous. Um, <laughs> hey, there's an albino in there. Little level three. We're moving on up in the world. Three rares in the last uh, 50 minutes. Okay, so how do we maximize the amount 
that we kill here because <laughs> it's nuts. Uh, I'm going to say this guy, that guy, and that guy. Three is probably as good as we're going to do. Felt good. That one's dead. That one's dying. Albino's dead. You know, half of these are going to come back by the time we get everything claimed, so we're just going to get moving. Let's fast travel to here, only because I think that might be a better direction to go from. It's nuts, Otter. And what's so weird about it is, like, it's it's entirely inconsistent. Sometimes I have, like, four bucks standing there, and not the, you know, 12, 13 does and however many other bucks were there. Had a chance to drop that, just whiffed on that. Just shot a 265 fallow. You know what's really cool about the fallow now? 260s are way more rare to come across, and 270s definitely are, are more rare as well. Or maybe they're still just as rare as they've always been. <laughs> I don't know, Lammy. That sounds pretty common to me. I mean, What was the suggestion that wouldn't kill them all? I'm guessing like a rocket launcher or something. Two albinos now. This guy looks a little bit better. Thanks, Sir 12. <laughs> this dude has an obsession with getting exactly in my way. <laughs> he really does. 131. I mean, I'll take the rares. I would like a bigger rare. But I will take the rares. Moose were not kind with the rares. Do you have some acres, like, that I own? We have 14.1 acres here that I actually own. And then at my dad's place that we hunt, he just told, what did, what did he tell your mom and dad? Because I thought it was 128, but I think it's 126 or something like that. <laughs> that fellow looks like Pete Davidson. <laughs> Albino looked high. What are you saying about his red eyes, man? It's not his fault. He was born this way. Shot a male albino's double coil yesterday. Are they as rare as the Bob White? Almost certainly not. I, counting mine, which was in early access and I can't keep, I've probably seen 20 or 30 shot already, which kind of sucks, but also at the same time, I'm glad people are actually going to get them. Looks like Steve Buscemi. We should just start naming our albinos and be being really rude to everybody that we name them after. Is there any gun you want to see added into the game? I mean, not particularly. It'd be cool if they added a 7 mm Mod 8 because that's what I hunt with in real life, but I don't know that it would be anything other than a novelty. Like, if you added something that would be in any way more OP than like the 7 mil bolt or the 308 AR already is, which of course, you know, 7 mm Mod 8 put it together, you've got a 7 mil bullet neck down to a 308 cartridge. It's going to be one or the other as far as weapon classes and stuff. So either it's going to be better than those guns, which would just be absurd, or it's going to be worse than them, and then is it really worth adding it to the game? Figured there'd be one more coming back. Eh, let's not shoot that from 12 miles away. Still waiting for that 50 cal? You know the best thing? April Fool's like 2017 or something. It was a long time ago. The Hunter Classic put out a post on their socials that they were adding a 50 cal to the game. And in the like social media image that they used, they put a rabbit there. So it was pretty clear like they were saying like, you know, we've added a 50 cal to hunt rabbits with. Obviously April Fool's. Not a lot of people got it. There was a lot of upsetness. You want your limit on tents? I think. I've taken some down, but as far as I know, I've put new ones up. Use metric, you should say kilometers? Wait, when? Three level five hog general, they all troll. That's not fair. I've not seen too many troll hog deer. They seem to be the one that's not like in that 
Sambar Rusa class, but that is big unfortunate. Alright. Gonna get run number two going. Change the time, switch maps, see how many kills we're at. It's kilometers? You're right. What have you gotten during this stream? Uh, two albinos and one pie bone, I think. All silvers. Nope, not ten. I was able to start my fallow runs at ten at the beginning, and it was working. But now? They're just not showing up till about 11, 1130. Have you ever had a situation where you find a max level animal and then don't see it for months and find it randomly again? I can think of some, like, I don't know if they're always max levels, but rares and stuff that I saw in the past and either couldn't find or forgot about or whatever that I run into later, but I don't have a specific, like, you know, diamond or anything where that happened. Oh, good. Got a fallow over here for once. Okay, now that he's dead, number of kills, uh, that would be 70, nope, math is hard, 65. We've been live for 57 minutes. If we can keep this one per minute rate up, I'll be pleased. Got trolled by a level 9 albino Roo? I think we've had all the different rares for Roo's troll already for different people. You know what's on this map, by the way? There is a female black feral goat. I don't know where. I've seen it a couple of times. What really happened was, in early access, I saw it. I was like, okay, that's there. I'm not going to get to keep it. I've got too much content already that I'm worried about. I'm not going to shoot that. And then, because that used the same you know, population file as my live game, my understanding was that those things were getting reset, so I had no inkling that it would be here. Then I saw it the other night, and I guess Beard confirmed on one of his streams that they actually didn't do any of the pop resets or something like that, so that's something we got to kill one of these days, too. It's, it's right over there where those fallow were. I just don't know, you know, timing when it's actually going to be there. It's a decent white one. So I see four. Might be able to get them all if we fast travel. Black Feral go to Rare? Yes. They still are, as far as I know. That guy. That guy. Oh, that was almost bad. Did I miss one of those? No, there, were, there was just one more buck than I thought. Okay, I should have fast traveled. I think we may be better off not fast traveling. Where's that one? Getting that shot in right after you've hit them and they kind of flinch. Something I used to be good at, I think. There we go. Is the stream lag and everything's clean on this end? Have you ever watched TWD? Does that stand for The Watermelon Death? I bet that's it. I don't think I've watched it because I don't know what that is. Do you know what it is? Oh. <laughs> no, I actually haven't watched that. The Whitetail Doctor? That's better than mine. The Witch Doctor? Could have been that too. What's up, Noah? Grind's going pretty good so far. I gotta say, we're, we're keeping up a rate of more than one fallow per minute. At least over the course of two runs. That's not a huge sample size. Uh, this particular stream, in the hour we've been live, we've killed two albinos and one piebald. Don't think we've had a five yet. Jeez, your accuracy might be worse than Mitch Trubisky. Dang, man, I have feelings. <laughs> Jeez. The Watermelon Death's my favorite show? Same, dude. On the one hand, I'm worse than Mr. Biscuit. On the other hand, I'm Chris Kyle. I guess it depends on perception. White brown Rusa deer rare? That's one of the comments, actually. They look like piebalds, but it's just a common variant. Sometimes I feel like I should take more than a second to look at these things, but every second counts. First time watching your stream? Well, come on in, man. 
Chris Kyle when you have the 4570. You're not wrong about that. Something something happens. That gun was made for me. I, I don't know. I don't even like it, but I just I shoot really well with it. Just saw someone got a great one fallow and 155 kills. So I was saying uh, Tuesday night on stream with Mel and Kylo. The perception is, at first, with any great one grind, that a bunch of people are getting getting them in super short grinds, therefore, they must be easy. And the problem is, in the first couple of days after release of a great one, the only great ones that, that are getting posted are short grinds. That just inevitably, there are no long grinds that have happened yet. Is that gonna spook them? So it, it kind of warps perception, but there's a lot of short, short fallow grinds right now. I mean, my thing is, I don't, I, like, I would love to get, like, the first great one fallow. That'd be awesome, right? But I really don't want to have my great one fallow to your grind take 15 minutes and be done. I want to at least, you know, have close to a thousand kills, which at, at this point we already do. You know, if a great one fallow wants to show up in the next zone, I would be... Very pleased and consider it earned, but you know, that was pretty sweet. Uh, I I definitely I like it to be something that takes some time. That looks awfully dark over there. It's a nice four. I think he's a common though. Got my great one red deer in seventy five or less before I got a diamond. Nothing wrong with it. I wouldn't complain. 1,073, nice. I should add up all the time that I've had. Because I still think I'm shortchanging myself. I'd be at 560, I think. It just seems like I've shot more than that. But it the thing is, it's so easy to think you shot way more than you did. So I probably am actually at 560, and I've just got it in my head that that's feels too low. Wish the new 338 was more powerful. Yeah, I think it should be. Probably. But it is what it is. The, the thing is, the way that Call of the Wild works, like the ballistics and damage and all that, is really down to the ammo, not the gun. Which, I guess, is in some ways accurate, some ways not to real life. You know, barrel length and all that sort of stuff is pretty relevant. But, that's the way the game works. So, adding a... Okay. Nice crash. Cool. <laughs> Can't have that happen when we shoot a great one. But anyway, adding a, a caliber that already exists is inevitably going to have something that's the same level of, like, powerful that it already was. Skill cool. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. <laughs> Just got an albino quail and a diamond roo off Australia in a 10 minute time gap. Not bad. Favorite thing to hunt in game or in real life? In real life, it's definitely whitetail and always will be. In game, I quite enjoy wolves. I really do. Kind of in the same way that like, you know, we just made that shot on that running fallow and dropped it. And it's just like, okay, that was actually neat. I'm glad that happened. Um, I think when you survive a pack of aggressive wolves. Kind of that same thing. So if we uh, move the time forward, I think... I don't actually understand how this works, but I've seen it done. Can, uh, can I please, like, reset the time? Come on. Because we crashed, I think things are going to not be in their zones, and I'm pretty sure moving the time a minute forward solves that. Do you have a Diamond Kang? Uh, tomorrow's video is hunting for kangaroos. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Get so much cash for hunting Bantang? Is that right? I think you're being paid by... There's another Bible. That's a good one. Probably like a 205 or 210. The rares are showing up tonight. Where's the great one? What if that's the way it actually worked? What if everybody thinks the killing big males is what's necessary, but is actually killing rares? I don't think that's how it works. Ooh, that felt a little high. Got two his. See, sometimes my shooting's just like... Can do no wrong. 
There's plenty you can do no right in there, too. Well, he'll die. Oh, were we too close? Uh, well, the pie ball's still there. By the way, there's been, uh, some people that have shot some rares that did not score top of their estimate. I actually think now that I'm looking at this, this, guy, this guy's going to score 217. Weird that some do and some don't. Potentially meeting a new puppy in a few hours. Can I have it? That's not the ideal way to kill a rare, but he was going to go away. Mitch Haim currently. Oof. What if it... Wait, where did that go? What if it's killing animals on the last round of your mag? I've always thought of, like, so many different... They can do whatever they want when it comes to Great One spawning, and, like, what specific thing could trigger it. But it's probably just randomness. 217 indeed. So that's going to be our biggest piebald ever. Biggest rare fallow ever, actually. First shot was lung liver. Second shot made sure. Pretty cool. So now four rares in right about an hour. What are you doing way over there? How did I get him over there? <laughs> you can't move him. I don't know what he was doing on the left side of the thing. Anyway, tax that. Got one laying here, got one to the track for about seven miles. There's another one. Just like... Down there. Mag dumping the deer. Did you see our Emerald Coast, our first stream there? Because I shot like... Three or four different kangaroo with a Glock, and I would use like all 15 rounds. It's a nice piebald fallow deer. They definitely look a hundred times better than they used to. What are you going to shoot the great one fallow with? I think I'll stick with the Hawk Edge bow. I was thinking... I'm always so concerned about doing this. One of these days here soon, if we haven't already gotten a great one to spawn, and I hope it happens tonight, but who knows. I probably should do, like, a bow hunt just to keep up, you know, sharp with the bow. Updates have happened, maybe something's way off with the bow, and I should know that before I try to shoot at a fallow deer. This is a thing that Mel and I have talked about a bit. You see these great ones get messed up in the community. And a lot of times it's because someone chooses to use a bow or whatever weapon that they've like never fired before or haven't practiced with. And it leads to like terrible results. So I probably should just, you know, shoot a couple of things with the bow, make sure everything's all good before we get to that point. Now should one shoot, like let's say the next zone there's a great one standing there. We'll get the bow, and I'll probably shoot something else with it first, just to make sure all is well. But like I was saying before, it's not about, like, a challenge, or... You know, it's it's not about some kind of flex, like, I got a great one with the bow. It's literally just, it forces me to get close to it, and that's what I want to do with great ones. Would you use a crossbow on the great one? I'd be open to it, um, but it would also... I think because of its ability to shoot farther consistently... It would probably tempt me to go for longer shots. The other thing is, there's been some messed up great ones with crossbows. And I think the culprit is, because it usually ends up being a spine shot. If you zero for 30 meters to crossbow, and you're shooting 22, it hits alarmingly high, like unexpectedly high. Not saying it shouldn't work that way. It's just kind of the way it is. Like couple of meters below your zero range and you're hitting several inches high. Diamond now for Springbuck 78, I think. <laughs> if I ever get a great one, I'm going to crawl in close and sprint at it and run into it just because. <laughs> that would make for a pretty good video. I touched a great one. How many main missions are the new DLC? I have not done the missions. Uh, maybe someone in the chat can tell you. Whoa, did they? They changed the zero for crossbow 20, 40, 60? Why? What a completely unnecessary thing to do. Just go to max weight diamond fallow. I'm convinced you're good luck. I'll take it. <laughs> it's a requirement, actually. If you watch the streams, you get better fallow luck. So tell all your friends. 
Oh, I gotta, I gotta just take a second to get breath back before I do stuff like that. Come on, Sir Twelve, get out of here. <laughs> the worst. Uh, I might not claim that one. I give you Mitch luck. What about Bantang luck? That's just a specific Billy thing, to be honest. Got a Melanistic Magpie Goose. Was yours the female? I saw somebody post a one. You grind so we don't have to. <laughs> That'd be a good tagline. What if you have no friends? Join the club. I do? No. How many hours do you have on this game? Uh, they've changed the Steam overlay, so it doesn't tell me anymore. So, I gotta tab out the Steam. 6,348. Sir 12 is a menace. He's literally like... It's just his life goal to screw up as many shots and everything else as he can. What did he just do that with? Something on Emerald Coast in Early Access. We shot something cool. And I wanted to... You know, show it. And... As soon as I went to look at it, he just ran over and stood right in the way. What are the odds it's laying somewhere in view? These aren't... Oh, Two of them are nervous. I don't know what that one's deal is. What time is it? Ah, I guess we have time to track. I don't want to, but... I should find it. What, do you even have him still? Because he was like a gift from Kyla, even though... He's been... An absolute pain. Wait a minute. When did I hit a female? Not even tracking the right one. Thought it was Rocky? Yeah, I think Rocky was our first one, and I don't even know the name of the second one. <laughs> Guess he wasn't very special. I think Sir 12 was the third one. One day we'll have a dog named Shadow in the game. Got my great one, 250 kills, three rares, two diamonds. That ain't too bad though, at least you got like some, some trophies in that length of time. I saw the blood. Come on, Sir 12. I don't know what you're doing back there. Second Daga was Rascal? I've, for years I did like an R naming theme for really no reason. I had, in classic, Rocky was the retriever, which was named after my, like, family dog. Uh, then... Radar was the... Pointer. I think Razor was the Sandhound? And then Rascal obviously was continuing that thing. Sir 12 has an R in it. When he Labradors the game for Waterfowl? I honestly am shocked a year after Revan Tully Coast and the Waterfowl reworks that that still not happened. All your dogs are named R in real life? That's cool. Why is he called Sir 12? So the whole thing was... I went AFK while recording. I don't know if I went to get a drink, go to the bathroom, who, who knows. Did we have Shadow by then? I could have even been taking her outside. Whatever it was. I left for like five minutes. I came back, and I continued recording, and I'm just going along, and all of a sudden I get this notification that my dog's leveled up. And my dog was supposed to be max level, so I'm like, okay, this thing's broken. And then I look, and I have this new, like, he was level three or something dog named Sir 12. Kyla had gotten on my computer and <laughs> gotten me a new dog while I was gone. How many great ones do you have? Just the two. One white tail, one red deer. No fallow spawning over there. I got it. This this is a place where you need a second tent. Do I have... Oh, I have. Cool. We'll place one as soon as we get here then. Do you got about 45k kills on Grindmaster 2000? I don't... I don't know. Can you actually tell the 12 story? Do you like to hear the 12 story or do you not know it? Kyla doesn't like when I tell the 12 story. Even though I think it's funny. I'll tell it... I'll tell the quick version. 
So one of my Discord moderators, the youngest of the mod team at the time, who was still like 17, he was not 12. We would make a joke that he was 12, as in like, you're too young to even have a Discord account. And he would play along with it. And one day he did, and I'm sure he banned somebody and they got upset and reported him and took like a screenshot of him saying that he was 12. And he literally like, Discord banned his account. But the thing that solidified 12 for me was later that day, I was recording on Yukon Valley, I found a level 1 Plains Bison. You guys know what the minimum score for Plains Bison is? It's 12. I found that out that day, and from that moment, 12 became very important. I thought it said he had 20 great ones. It does say that. That is entirely incorrect. Um, when they added Bloodhounds back in... Boy, 2020? It's been a while, huh? They tried to add a great one counter, and they completely screwed it up. <laughs> so, silvers were being counted as golds, golds were being counted as diamonds, diamonds were being counted as great ones, and in that time period, I shot, I guess... Hello? What just happened? Why did that first shot? What happened? It was like we fired a blank. That would... That, there's no reason that missed. <laughs> I truly have no idea why. It acted like not a thing just occurred. Anyway. What was I even saying? Oh, the counter thing. So I had one great one at the time. So therefore I shot 18 diamonds in that time frame. Because it used to say 19 until we got our red deer. You have very active mods. It's a very nice thing to see. We do have active mods here. It's great. That just happened to you as well. It's the first time I've had it on the fallow grind. I thought maybe we shot the hill in front of us, but we didn't move and then shot again, so... Shouldn't have been that. Has the Great One counter in the Codex been fixed yet? Uh, it works, but it, like, it hasn't been retroactively fixed. Like, I think mine's always just gonna say 20 and then, you know, 21, hopefully, if we get a Fallow and so on. No more spawn in there. I think maybe the next run we'll do the entire peninsula. Is a 270 Great One Red Deer big? It's definitely, like, the big rack. They can get to about 280. But they can also be as low as 240s. How long until away the Hunter Stream? I gotta check it out and see if they've fixed it, because there was an update today. Maybe, not like tomorrow Friday, but maybe next Friday? We'll see. Your diamond counter is one less than you have? Yeah, I always wonder if, um... If I've got other... Like, missing things. So during that time frame, obviously, because the diamond counter was incorrect, it says that I have... 1,320 diamonds? I really have just 1,020 diamonds. Now, fortunately... They told us when the fix for all that was coming, and I just shot enough golds that were being counted as diamonds, to get exactly 300 above, so it'd be easy to know how many diamonds I truly had. But are there diamonds that we've shot that aren't counted and stuff like that? Who knows? It's a very common tale. There's a couple of zones up past this, so I'm guessing that call that we got is going to another zone. Still find it funny that a great one moose rack could be a silver. The spider rack, right, in the 180s? I've always wondered. You know, moose would be a good one to test it on. Except moose are hard to get to spawn. If you... Surely someone out there has messed up a spider rack. If you mess up a great one moose that would otherwise score silver, what metal does it get? Where do I think DeAndre Hopkins is going to be traded to? It sounded like the Patriots might actually happen. Apparently that visit went well. I thought him and Bill O'Brien, like, would hate each other's guts, though. Bantank drink time? Uh, 17 to 20, I think. Will you ever do a lodge tour? I might do one at the end of the month. We'll see how things are looking with Emerald Coast and everything going on. Um, I used to do them every six months, but what basically happened was... We got to a point where our lodge was pretty full, and therefore not getting a lot of... Ooh, there was a big something that ran through there. I saw. 
I saw something. He'll actually come back, I think. So let's just keep moving. Anyway, it got to a point that in six months, I may only make like 20 or 30 major upgrades to the lodge, which sounds probably like a lot, but when there's 200 plaques and like, I think there's actually, it's 192, it says. 182 plaques and 63 stands. So when less than 10% of your lodge is changing and 90% is exactly the same as the last tour, I just don't think it's great to just do tour after tour. What score do Ruse make diamond the same, believe it or not, as the Gators on Mississippi is 492. Any great one that gets messed up still a gold? I think it'd be hilarious if he had a bronze great one, like the messed up spider rack that would have been a silver. That ain't bad. Okay, this is kind of what I was looking for. I don't even know where that could have possibly hit. I'll let that go, because I've alerted that whole group down there. I still thought I saw, like, a really big fallow buck run through. Like, bigger than this. Hard shot? Lung shot? Almost a hard shot. That would have been cool. What new match would you like to see in Way the Hunter? Uh... I mean, Africa's the thing everybody's kind of been hoping for. What else would be cool in that game? Like, I'm thinking with aging and stuff. What would be... You know, something that helped them stand out, too. Maybe... I still like my Greenland idea. That guy got going fast. Don't ask me how that worked. Uh, spotted level 5 magpie up in the northern swamps. I just can't seem to find it, both with and without decoys. As I said in yesterday's video, a lot of times when I spot like some sort of flock animal that I want to kill, when I set up my decoys at the location that I first spotted it, it doesn't show up. When I move my setup, you know, say 500 meters in the direction that it was flying, then I tend to get them to show up. So if you know what direction it was moving in, maybe try setting up some decoys there. Gotta consider too, the crocs can spook them. So, you know, maybe set up a little bit further away from the water. Ooh, it's past 1300. We gotta get to that top right leg. I felt like we came down here at like 1215. That's a decent one. All right. I don't think we're too late, but we're going to be pushing it. What's the name of that map? The one that we're on? Te Awaroa. I think it's like Te Awaroa National Park. Do you mean Crocs? I think that's what I said, right? Hello. This is why when I was talking about like, I need to move around to get things to spawn in. They're in such different areas all the time that moving my tents to you know, help with that doesn't seem like a viable maneuver. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> uh, how do I say your name? I'm gonna call you Key, because I definitely cannot pronounce that. Feel free to let me know how to say it in the chat. North Pole with Polar Bears would be a good map. They did Polar Bears in Classic. Um, probably about... I had a YouTube channel then. But not for very long. Maybe six, seven years ago? I actually think they're cool. I'd, I'd be down for it. So Buck, he's on his way out. It's gonna be another thing too because we got here after 1300. Everything's gonna be trying to leave. What is your rifle of all time to go hunting with in real life and why? Three reasons. I don't know if I can give you three good reasons. Because the thing is my answer is gonna be specific to whitetail hunting because that's what I primarily do. Uh, I would say it's going to be my 7mm Mod 8 for sure. As far as reasons, 
the particular one that I'm going with, the Weatherby Vanguard, in my experience has been incredibly consistent and accurate. We'll make that one reason. I've shot five deer with it. They've all been hard shots. It, for how it performs and stuff, is relatively affordable. Like, I think gun and scope, I paid 900 bucks, which buy a brand new bow tomorrow and <laughs> tell me how much that costs because they're, they're way more than rifles. So that's two. Uh, ammo's relatively available and affordable. I say relatively because to be fair, I couldn't find any last year. What poundage do you use on your bow in real life? I shot 70 or 75 pounds probably from the time I was 16 up until I was 22 or 23. And then, this is going to sound like I'm blaming the bow, but I'm not. When I shot the Freedom Flinger bow, the Red, White, and Blue Obsession Evolution 7 in 2020, their draw cycles were very kind of front-loaded. Like, most of the weight that you pulled was maybe in the first 6 to 10 inches of the draw. Which, that was already a little rough on the shoulder, but the real reason that that was a problem for me, or that bow was a problem for me was the let off was 90%. And if you guys have ever shot a bow with 90% let off, or at least this particular bow, it's almost like when you reached full draw, it like, it felt like 100% let off. Like you would let up tension on the string a little bit and it didn't just go. But once, like you would keep on letting up tension, letting up tension, and eventually it would just almost pull out of your your hand. It was really rough that way. So, I was getting a drop away rest put on and the guys at the bow shop were just having a hard time getting it, because it's cable driven, getting it tied into the correct part of the cable so that the timing was right. And I had to draw and let up this bow like 15 times in a row and it just about tore my shoulder out of the socket I don't know why I told you that entire story to tell you I now shoot like 65 pounds but uh yeah now I shoot 65 the freedom flinger 12,000 hey listen man if everything goes to plan I'll be shooting a red white and blue darton this year and I will name that one the freedom flinger 12,000 what broadheads do you use I use VPA single bevel 150 grains. VPA, first of all, their product is like top tier, great quality. That's a fucky looking thing. Um, yeah, great quality, super consistent, very accurate. Like I've had basically no problems getting them to fly as well as my field points. Uh, but what is maybe more like important to me with them, it like they is the greatest people like they're literally the best to work with super nice super cool like i love that about a company that we get to work with they they sponsor us with meat hunters and through the years like we've worked with different sponsors and it's not always the case that they're like super chill and cool like that so i i appreciate that sounds like you said the f word i know I, as soon as it came out of my mouth it wasn't it wasn't the cleanest funky i've ever said <laughs> Y'all know what I said. <laughs> Good to know I'm not the only one who heard that. One time I missed a rabbit like 12 times on stream. And I said, awk, under my breath. And a lot of people thought I just randomly, I was like, come on, it was a rabbit. I wasn't going to be that upset. <laughs> Do you fish in real life? Uh, yeah, like... Uh, I wish that we would get to fish more. We've got a creek that runs to the front yard, but at least this year all this in its creek chubs. So we haven't gone as much. I've been planning on going camping and doing some fishing then. The week that I wanted to go just so happened to be Shadow got spayed that week. So she got a cone on and I was like, I don't want to take the poor thing camping when she can't even enjoy it. So we didn't go and then Kyla's family came to visit. And now this map's out and we'll see if we get to go. Fish telling drugs are real on my boat? Have you paper tuned it? <laughs> I 
I guess everybody heard that. Can you show me on the map all those boss that you have found? Oh, somebody asked about my zones earlier. Whoops. Okay, so from here, east, that chunk of the river, starting lake, this little lake, along this coast, and this t lake in the top right. Really not many places that have them. What's up, JD? Monitors, monitor screen broke today. Uh, there's three lines. Can you fix it? Uh, if it's a bunch of pixels, I don't know. I had an old, old monitor that a couple of pixels started to die on me, and then one day, like, when I restarted it, they just seemed to come back. Have you missed anything interesting? We have shot two albinos and two piebalds, I think. Been a pretty... Pretty solid session here, an hour and a half. Killed quite the stuffs. Diamond number 10 inbound, holy! Is 524 good for a Rue? They max at 530, so I would say so. You ever seen any deer in your backyard before? And how big? I don't know if we've ever seen a buck in our backyard here. We did see, one night we were just sitting out on the porch steps, and there was a smallish buck that chased some does up through the woods. A couple of days ago there were uh, a few does that went through the creek. I think I figured out why they randomly did that though. They trimmed the power line with a helicopter the other day and there were a bunch of branches just laying on like the path into the woods and I think that was blocking the deer from going the way they normally do. Always with the tracking. Eh, we don't have to track that one. House tour? I thought about it. I don't know. It feels weird. Why did you not spook there, sir? Oh, you bugger. <laughs> Stop right when we shot. Killed a chocolate diamond fallow? Nice, man. All my diamonds so far here in this grind have all been chocolate fur type. Why? I don't know. I think fallow might be my favorite species in the whole game with the great one and new furs. They are definitely significantly improved. It's so funny to think like the old fallow models. I never remember looking at them and being like, these don't look good. Until we got to see the new models and the new fur and stuff. And then we saw those. And in the period of time we're waiting on them, we're still, you know, hunting the old ones. When you compare, it's just like, oh, these are bad. The new ones are so much better. Not a house tour, but how about a buck tour? As in, like, all the deer? I assume that's what you mean. I could do something like that. One thing that I want to do, like, fairly soon here if I can is I want to take my buck mount up to my mom and dad's. Hang it on a fence post, because I think that'll look nice. And then I want to do like a... like untold story... untold stories with that buck. Like just some kind of video where I just sit down. Probably won't be very highly edited, or maybe it will be, because that might be more fun. And just kind of... you know, like... tell all the little details that got left out of the episode with that buck. Because I think that'd be pretty cool. Like, there's a bunch of stuff. My favorite... kind of two. One is just, like, being almost paralyzed by... I call it fear, but... Like... Everyone remembers going to school. And you show up, and you find out there's a test, and you forgot to study. That's what I, that's the type of fear I felt, because I, it was such a big buck, and I, everything you hear about, like, big mature whitetail is like, they're so smart, one slip up, they're gone forever, and I'm just sitting there a hundred yards away from this thing, thinking like, if I spook this buck, what if I never see it again? Like, can, am I going to be able to get turned around here and make this shot? All these things going through my head. The other half of that, because it ties in. My other sort of like favorite mini story was as it was getting dark and he wasn't 
presenting a shot. He just wasn't moving out into the clearing. I just remember, like, being content with the fact that I had even encountered that deer. Even that was special. And it was not long after I finally accepted, like, okay, like, I might not kill him, but that was pretty cool to get to film this buck in daylight. Then he started moving and gave me a shot. Don't you do it. Oh, no. Okay, we'll come back for that one. We're not waiting on that. Let's see. I said I was going to do the coast run. Good chance we never claim that fallow, by the way. Best thing to shoot for a money grind? It may be fallow deer, frankly. What's the best great one in your opinion? I'm really partial to moose. I really like the way they did them, but the fallow is definitely up there. We've been live for an hour and a half already. Crocs for money? That's a good one too now since you can't lose them. What is a new animal you want to hunt in real life? So elk is kind of like my ultimate go out west and hunt goal. But the way that I plan to achieve it is pronghorn hunt in Wyoming. Maybe set aside, aside a week, 10 days, whatever it is. And ideally kill said pronghorn in less than a week or less than the 10 days, however long I'm going to be there. Spend the rest of those couple of days scouting for a future mule deer hunt. Then go back, hopefully the next year, with a mule deer tag. Ideally kill a mule deer in less time than I have allotted for that hunt. And do some elk scouting for the, uh, the final plant hunt. Not that I'm never going back, but... I think you get me. That's a big male. Some of my family said they have seen a kangaroo in Virginia in real life. I mean, was it in the zoo? Have you ever considered a moose hunt? It's kind of something I'd like to do. Like, I think it'd be really cool to do it like during their rut or like when calling is most effective. Because you've seen, I think it was, uh, I think it was on Meat Eater. Giannis Patelis, his, maybe it was his dad. And they were calling moose from like a quarter mile or a half a mile away. But, um, I don't know. There's, there's something about, it's probably the pack out that I just don't feel I'm physically capable of doing. Do you want to do a caribou hunt? That one's like my top dream animal thing, but that's for probably much further down the road than a couple of years. A funny looking fella. I'll say funny now instead. Said that he saw it in the forest. It's probably a deer with like a broken hip or something. All right. There's a buck there. This is probably something we should do every... I don't know, 500 kills, and we're at around 600 now, so it's time. As a Virginian, I can confirm we have kangaroos here. Wait a minute. I thought you lived in California. Am I stupid? I was sure you were on the West Coast. I'm from Virginia, there's no telling. Have you ever been on a mule deer hunt? I have not, but it's, uh... Hopefully in the next two or three years, something that I'm going to really work to do. I've heard muleys, muleys are better for backcountry hunts. Better in the sense of, like, more likely to have success, or what's the, the, uh, better? Taxidermist had my, hit, my deer for two years, I'm starting to think I'm never going to get it. Do you have, like, contact with your taxidermist? Because mine... Every couple of months, I would just text him and check in, like, Hey, is everything going good? Need anything for me? Like, do I need to help with getting a pose? Whatever, ready? Mine took... I got it back in March. Like, 14 months or something. Depending on the taxidermist, though, I know... They got so far behind during COVID. Not because they couldn't work. But because, like, Mackenzie, or that's the uh, 
brand, I guess, that most taxidermists get their forms from, they were slowed down during COVID and things got back ordered and everything got all congested. And some taxidermists are still getting caught up from that. You moved. Okay, so I'm not stupid. I just, I didn't know. Got Black Panthers in North Carolina? So is that just like a melanistic... So we have um, black squirrels in PA. They're just a gray squirrel. And a population of them just has like a dominant melanistic gene. Is that what a black panther is? Matt Place, thanks for the super chat. You're a small male. Why, thank you. That's very kind of you. Would you ever consider going on a red deer hunt? So the problem with the red deer hunt, and really the problem with the caribou hunt, and probably the moose hunt, is the logistics. And I know, like, it is perfectly fine and doable to, like, get a gun on a plane and go hunt. But there's something about taking a gun into an airport, even though it's going to be completely legal and you check it and it's fine, that just freaks me out. Are you streaming the Fallow Grind tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. I might do Emerald Coast tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, Dark Sword, thank you for the super chat. What other animal would you like to see get a great one? I think Rose Vardell could be my favorite. What happened? I saw you, like, react to something. Just a second ago. Okay. I thought you had, like, a troll. How long have you been playing the game? Uh, going all the way back to the little, like, lottery beta they did in December 2016. Like, December... It was supposed to be December 6th, and I think it actually ended up being delayed to December 8th. That was the first time I got to play Call of the Wild. So, from the very beginning, basically. Panther's also a term for mountain lion slash cougar, and I guess they can come in black, but I've never seen one personally. I prefer to keep it that way? I don't blame you, man. So it's not a, are you saying it's not a melanism thing? I did know the the term part. Like for whatever reason, the uh, the mountain lion population in Florida, at least Floridians call them panthers. Have you ever hunted bears before? No, but I may as well have been in Tennessee. I was hunting for whitetail, but I was finding many bears. It's kind of good that this coast isn't loaded with fallow like my concern was maybe we had a billion respawns and there were just fallow all over the place down here did I, did I ever place that tent over there I didn't I was supposed to however in this case it's gonna help us because I don't feel like running all that way so We'll just take a little joy ride. Probably stop. Oh, there's a tent right there. So we're actually at... Wait a minute. That's weird. So I've been checking here and there hasn't been one the entire time, but just now one happens to spawn? Alright, now I need my ATV back. I thought we were somewhere else. Got my spring bear IRL this year, counting the days till deer season? I kind of... We don't have spring bear here and I don't really bear hunt, so I don't know why, but for some reason spring bear hunting is way more appealing to me. What's up, All-Star? Met 1.1k? I was going to say, Mel, I knew you were way ahead of me, but I was like, did something happen? Long grind. How many trolls have you gotten during this grind so far? Just two, but I've actually only had... Wow! Nice. I've only had, uh... Five? Level five? Three diamonds, two trolls, I believe. Uh, I'm getting a PC, and I need your help. To get the game, should I get digital or disc? I would get digital. I mean, unless... Maybe where you live, your internet's just... Not good. But it's really only going to help you with the initial install. Every time an update comes out, you're going to have to, you know, sit and wait through that long download period either way. 
We need automatic turrets to speed up grinds? I ain't gonna lie, I need like a... What do they call them things? No, well, that too. The little like two-wheel scooters. Like a moped or something. The thing that slows down my grind is not the shooting, though in some places it is. It's mostly the fact that I can't run fast enough. <laughs> was thinking 1090 and that made me do the dumb in 1.9? It was close. Segway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Vespa, whatever that is. Get Heelys. <laughs> It'll work going downhill anyway. I think I had Heelys. I never, like, knew how to, like, properly Heely around, but I believe I had them. Do you bodyguard you? Why are you coming this way? Oh. If I'd had the ping of the M1, I wouldn't have just clicked right there. The Hunter Call of the Heelys, that'd be a great DLC. Oh, I shot you, sorry. They should add e-bikes that are super quiet. Is it Quiet Cat? Is that the brand that does e-bikes for hunting? They ought to get a sponsorship deal going. That would really, the game is already probably easy enough, but it would be a neat little IRL product. That's a pretty decent estimate, Bane. Hopefully he makes it for you. Best Lakes for Roos? I have not discovered one single Roo drink zone. Not because they're hard to find, but because I haven't looked for them. I actually find them pretty easy to hunt in their rest zones. They might be the only species in the game that I actively hunt in their rest zones, now that I think of it. Now you're going to get a Great One Doe respawn? Great One female animals would be an interesting proposition. All right, so that's gonna come up around to where we already have a tent. And therefore, what we've established in that amount of time is that we don't have a great one waiting in that spot for us. We do have a level three over there though, and that's almost as good. Okay, let's get our four-wheeler again. Red because it's the fastest, it's not. Just found a level 5 fallow? Nice. How would great ones work where both genders can make diamond? I mean, the only... Well, there's Gems Buck. But other than that, it's only animals that score by weight, like Great Fox and stuff, I think. So, would it really matter? How do I contact EW? Uh, I suppose it depends on what you're contacting them for. How far away is that zone? Okay, we spooked everything that's at that zone. Let's fast travel back and claim that one fallow that should have floated. And then we'll probably go top right. Tips for faking money? Make faking money? Where did that come from? I literally did. What did I even read that that is what my brain did? Uh, tips for making money. Fallow deer and red deer on Tay is pretty good. It was pointed out earlier. Hey, why is he over there now? That's fine, but <laughs> he was floating before. Anyway, Crocs are really good money on uh, Emerald Coast. The floating mechanics when you fast travel away do some pretty funny stuff. Faking money, I think that's illegal. If you have a good enough printer, I mean... Should work. We'll go back to Boomerang Lake, uh, place the tent like I was supposed to do last time, and then I think we'll just make it up here. We've pretty well cleared the hunting pressure though, which I haven't done in a while. Do you use counterfeit money? Only when like, I'm playing Monopoly. Gotta find a way to win. Where is the best spot to kill white-tailed deer in the game? Oh boy. I mean, the northern part of the Reventuli Coast during their drink time, which is 8 to 12, uh, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Most of those lakes, in the, I mean, really most of the lakes on the entire map have white-tailed, other than the far south. 
but the northern half of the map is so wide open up there in the mountains that it makes it probably more ideal to hunt. Antler white tail does would be pretty cool. That's true. A lot of times, like if if white tail does grow antlers of any significant size, they end up like they don't shed their velvet. So they they can get pretty wonky. Completely just whiffed that one. Who needs to reload? Not me. You could kindly die over there, sir. That'd be great. 500 plus in every stream recently. What a vibe. It is pretty cool to see the, the hype around Call of the Wild again. Because for a while there, and I think it was probably the lack of big hype new map last December with New England being New England, it felt like there was a, a slightly lower interest in the game, but or at least in a, a good, great one like Fallow Deer, a map that people are excited about, it's definitely gotten some more hype around the game, which is always good. I gotta redo these tents. I don't like them. Alright, one more... I almost said Fallow Deer trip. I think it's bedtime. <laughs> one more ATV trip, and then we're gonna go top right. Just got the Diamond Magpie goose that I lost yesterday. There you go. Good deal. They should host tournaments, events, and esports for this game. Somebody contacted me years ago, like trying to turn Call of the Wild into an esport, and I think they wanted an investment from me or something. I'm like, uh, no. But it, I don't know how you could do it. A game based on randomness really just. I'm not sure how you make that a fair competition. Is weird being in your time zone now? I agree. Get out of here. This time zone ain't big enough for the both of us. Got a 261. I swear there's something about chocolate fur types and diamonds. I'm gonna make a peer-reviewed paper about the frequency of that. What's that? It's so weird. Like, I don't get that. Odd. I have three if you want one. Fair enough. Whoa, okay, it looks like they're all down here this time. Is that a melon? No, it's a chocolate. I backed up one step and more fallow spawned in. Okay, how are we gonna handle this? Probably not well. But we're gonna try anyway. It's already outrunning things. So I've got a tent down here. I don't know if there's any more bucks in that herd, but we're gonna try to get ahead of them in case there are. Uh, there is actually several. Hitting them would have been a good idea. Sir 12 just completely <laughs> screwed us up again. See, that time he wasn't in the way. He was behind the fellow that we tried to shoot. But it still invalid targeted me. What the? This is insane. So there's two dead there. There's two dead back where we initially shot. We really didn't kill that many, but it felt like a bloodbath. Fallow grinds hold me over to Archery Elk in Alberta, only 63 days to go. That ain't too bad. Late August? Isn't there another one laying right here? Yeah. Third Bantang was an albino, my fourth was a diamond. Killed a piebald croc also? That's awesome, man. There's one more that we hit rather poorly, I think. We'll recover it one day. While we're here, take a quick commercial break to see. We're at 104 kills for this stream. Is that right? Did I math bad? Nope. 
So we slowed down a little bit, but we did run the coast, so I'm not surprised. Is the 2019 version better than the 2017 version? The difference is going to be those versions by year just have more DLCs included with them. So, for instance, the 2017 version, I think, has everything up to and including Verhunga Savannah. Maybe it's got Parquet Fernando, but I don't think it does. The 2019 version is going to have Verhunga Savannah, it's going to have Parquet, it's going to have whatever maps came out in 2018. I can't even remember. Maybe like Yukon Valley and something. But my point is, the 2019 version is going to come with more content. That's why even 500 is a lot of kills. You shot a ton of foul tonight. Yet, I mean, like I was saying before, it's so easy to feel like you've shot, you know, a thousand fallow in two days. God dang it, Sir 12. I'm going to kennel you, dude. You're out here trying to make my life more difficult. <laughs> it's funny that they're coded to run out of the way of a shot, but yet he's still in my way constantly. Today is my birthday, and I got trolled by a croc and hit a deer with my car. Goodness gracious, man. Well, happy birthday. I hope uh, with whatever's left of your day, it kind of turns around. That is not fair. What time do you hunt the crocs? I honestly haven't paid attention to what time I hunt them and have consistently had success, so I think really any time works. Any specific hunt you want to do in real life other than like caribou and elk, mule deer, pronghorn? Probably just some like whitetail specific stuff. Like I'd love to hunt whitetail in uh, maybe Iowa, Illinois. It's just that like the chance of say a one, even a 140 public land buck, but a 150, 160 is just way more likely there. So that can be kind of neat, but I probably should, you know, get better at hunting public land before I do something like that. How many diamond deer have you killed? Like on this grind? I think just three. None tonight. Despite the fact that we've shot four rares. Which I would say the odds of getting a rare are lower than the odds of getting a diamond. What's up, Ryder? Grind's going pretty good. We're uh, kind of rounding out our, I think, fourth? No. Yeah, fourth run. So far the stream. And potentially, if we shoot halfway decent, we're getting our number close to one fallow per minute. We were getting one per minute, and then we ran the coast just to kind of see. And that slowed us down because there's not as many fallow there, but we're cruising. Ever plan on hunting PNW? I don't know what that is. Been trolled by a croc, two roos, and a hog deer so far. Wasting my time on each of them with a bow. That's always worse. Like, when you really take your time trying to get a diamond and then it ends up trolling you. That's why... When I was grinding geese on Reventuli, and I got that level 5 bean goosing, really the same with the gray lag. I finally got the fives to show up, and I was kind of like... My first gray lag trolled, and my thought was, okay, I could... I could shoot this with a shotgun. I could, you know, spook it, go get my setup, call it in, and get him with a shotgun. But, if it trolls, I'm wasting my time and I could be killing more geese. That was why I ended up doing that. Oh, Pacific Northwest? I think I'd like to. I'd be, if I ever chose to hunt Roosevelt Elk, which they're kind of on my list too, that would be, like, Oregon specifically would be where i want to do that. Where's Rage Nation? I see him there. What's going on, man? Are there any class 2 animals in the Emerald Coast? Uh, like Tuck said, just Red Fox, I think. Should I spend $300 on a gaming PC? Let 
me put it this way. So it I'm assuming, well, actually, if it's a used gaming PC, maybe it's got a little more, uh, you know, computing power. Generally with computers, you really do get what you pay for. And to be able to run, you know, modern high-end games, I would even put Call of the Wild in that kind of category. Probably you'll want something that's going to cost a little bit more. However, if that's what you can afford, it's better than not having a PC at all, right? Make an IRL Leighton Lakes video? That'd be pretty sweet. Tips for Whitetail Zones? I guess it depends on what map you're on. They drink from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. And if you're in that time frame and running around on really any map with Whitetail, you should find quite a few. Alright, switch maps and come back. Out of 160,000 shots you fired, you have missed 80,000? I'd love to know how many of them are 22 shots, because I bet it's like 60,000. <laughs> It'd be a really high number. And there's a percentage of those that are shot at the ground, you know, at the feet of animals that I'm trying to 22 strat with. $300 PC won't run Call of the Wild. It depends on what it is, but you're probably correct. Like I said, if it's a used PC, it may have a little bit more capabilities than what you'd obviously be able to buy new for that price. Three hour stream today? I honestly have no idea. I'd like to get to 200 fallow, but that's going to take like two and a half more runs and I probably won't do that, so one or two more runs. A couple of okay ones in there. I'd really like to get a diamond on this stream. I feel like that should be doable. We're about to go through all of the ammo that we had. Alright, how in the world? They're all so like stacked in here. I feel like this happens every time. I don't know how to best go about getting the shots off. This probably is not going to work, but we'll go over here anyway and see if we can somehow sneak an extra one. I don't even know if we hit that. I do know we hit that. How does your scope have such low recoil? It's a combination of things. Uh, firstly, the 308 AR-10, if you're not using that particular gun, it does have very low recoil to begin with. What happened here? Did we not... Oh, wow. We killed one here. I mean, that... We hit another one, so it's going to die. But anyway. It's the gun itself, and then it's things like... Uh, I think it'd be perks, actually. Let's see. Probably none of these... It's shotguns. Yeah, recoil management right here. I have all three tiers of that. That definitely helps. And I think there's some other ones that, that matter too. Found a Mela Axis tier. There you go. Do you think I'll be able to get a good gaming PC with less than $1,000? You can get a very capable one. Uh, are you going to be able to run modern games on max graphics? No. At least not most. But medium to low graphics for, you know, $1,000 in that vicinity should be doable. Now I got you, Buck and Bass. Buck and Bass. Buck and Bass. Come on, head. You got this. Uh, I, uh... Figured that must have been where you got those stats from. It's one of those things where you question if it's worth the tracking that's going to be involved. Because there's this one. Which, you know, is somewhere out here. And then there's the other one. It, it definitely just slows us down. Are you talking about the goose that's marble? We actually ended up killing that today in the... Like, towards the end of the video.
Total diamond count for all animals, 1,030. We actually looked earlier. What time are you hunting fallow deer? I was... So they drink from 10 to 1,300. And I was starting at like 1030. And that was working pretty good. Until I got to 300, 350 kills. Then they just stopped showing up till about 1130. So now I start at 1130. No worries, Marble. Thought I just saw... I guess it was just tracks. I thought I saw them laying there. They should make bears more aggressive. Yeah, they could maybe do what they do in Classic, where they kind of, uh... Like, posture and stuff. Like, they'll charge up to you and then stand on hind legs. This dude is going forever. He's taking us right to our spot. The only thing is we gotta go back and claim that other one yet. That is somewhere over to our right. I wouldn't be shocked if this isn't the one that we tried to shoot at. Why are you called Flinter? My favorite hunting game growing up was Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 2009. The main character in that game was named Flint Abrams. So when I had completed that game probably for like the fifth or sixth time, I decided it was time to move on and find another hunting game. I found the Hunter Classic and I needed to create an account. So having just played that game so much, I decided I was gonna be Flint Abrams in Classic. Turns out somebody beat me to that. So, uh, for whatever reason, I slapped an ER on the end and called it a day. Try to get ahead of these. We're getting further and further from the tracking that we're supposed to be doing. What are you grinding for right now? Grinding for a great one, Fallow. That game was awesome. It was, it was the best. I loved it. I gotta buy more ammo real soon. What? Why? Because, because. There was one little one that came through here, and there could have well been, and we may have missed it. Heard that story so many times, the, the name one? That, the 12 story, I got it. One of these days I need to just sit down and record them, or pick a day when somebody asks it and really sit down and, like, tell the entire thing on stream and be, like, as eloquent and stuff as I can with it. Because I just want to put them on the Clips channel so that I can be like, I've explained the entire thing here, you can go and, you know, check that out. Rather than telling the same thing on stream every time. Got an albino Sitka deer, nice. Wait, you playing classic or you, you mean Sitka deer? I just realized. Just got a pretty 267, nice one. Alright, that guy's laying not too far from our tent so we can deal with that. How do you make so much money in Hunter Call of the Wild? Stuff like this is responsible for a lot of it, just a lot of kills. In our time in this game, we have 57,140 harvests, so it just kind of adds up. I don't really do anything in particular with the goal in mind of earning money. I probably haven't since like March of 2017. What are the rare croc scale types? Light brown, which I don't know why they call it that. Piebald, leucistic, albino, melanistic. I think that's the layout. How many tents and tripods do you need to guide the Great One Fallow? I mean, I guess you could accomplish it with none, but it would probably be a really annoying grind. I would, I would at least want 16 tents. You don't need tripods as much specifically for fallow deer because they only live in a fairly small home range. So like this top right area where you see less hunting pressure, this chunk of the river, just right through here, Starter Lake, Small Lake, this coast. So the reason that tripods aren't as relevant, if you do delete zones by causing too much hunting pressure, which of course is the point of tripods because they reduce hunting pressure, they really have nowhere to go. They're going to spawn somewhere else close by. How do you buy a tripod? Well, first you need the... 
I think it's tents and tripods, D not tents, tree stands and tripods DLC. If you've got that, it's just in your store under portable structures. Look at your longest shot. I can, but I can also tell you that it is 434 meters, though. It took me so long to find my way there that it was on screen before I could tell you that. All right, I'm going to jump over here. Thought there was a bright scale type for Crocs. Is there? Maybe I've missed that one. Max score on Ruse is 530. What gun? Yeah, this is the 308 AR-10. Just customized with the black metal and dark gray, dark gray paint. I like it. A lot of people are grinding with the 300 because it basically any lesser shot it takes them down more quickly. It also insta drop them with a single lung, which a 308 doesn't do. But I do like the faster follow up shots with the 308. Hello? There we go. What I miss? Uh, two albinos and two piebalds. The two albinos and first piebald were all silvers. Second piebald was actually our biggest piebald ever. I think 217. Okay, nothing here. Interesting. Go back to our starter lake. We missed this one on the last run. At least I think. Just killed a diamond croc since you started talking about it. Nice. Any diamonds? None so far. It's interesting. We've killed on this stream. We're closing in on like 150 fallow. Zero. Not only no diamonds. Not even a five. That's a narrow lead. So if we do this right. We back up to a particular distance so that these ones don't hear it. In this particular case, we're going to want to shoot this guy first, who of course is just going to trot and make the process take longer. And then, make sure these guys didn't hear anything. They sort of did, so we're going to back up a little bit more. Find a gap through the trees to... It's a small male. Thought there were three over there. We're down to nine rounds, so we gotta be careful what we're doing. One, two, three. So, I'll often go right to left. The reason for that is the recoil of your gun goes a little bit to the left. So if you start to the right, as you move across, it's a little bit easier to get your shots because you're already having the crosshairs move that way. That particular bit of shooting was pretty terrible, though. Let's just hope we can actually get all three. Do you know good spots to hunt Fallow on Emerald Coast? I've not messed with Fallow there much, so I'm probably not the best person to ask, but... I know that, uh, kind of like the center area of the map has quite a few. One round left. Amazing. We'll buy, like... Probably only going to do 100 more or so now because that should be all we need tonight at least. Later, Philip. Call that good. Uh, I don't know what direction to go. We'll go this way. There's. Wait. There's three there. One there, and then that awful, terrible shooting that we did further up. What's your favorite non-rare fallow fur? Probably the white. I do like the chocolate a lot, but the white looks really cool. What sport are we talking about with LSU? Basketball? I don't know what else would be going on right now. Though NBA just wrapped up, so maybe not. Got two diamond fallow in the same run. No herd management because I'm not a nerd. Nice. Baseball. Oh. College baseball is not something I ever remember exists. Kind of a derpy looking guy with those antlers. Yeah, so it looks like we killed probably all three of these. We hit all three, so of course we did. Tracking them is going to be another thing. 
that undiscovered POI staring at me? Which one? Oh, this right here. <laughs> I'll get it one day. LSU baseball just advanced the college baseball finals against Florida. How does college baseball is playoffs an appropriate word? I don't know. Is it series same as MLB? So we got one small male that we hit well. And these other two fellow fallows probably not so much. Uh, where I saw blood. Okay. Oh boy. Very low. That's gonna go a ways. And we don't really have the time for it in this run, but I guess we'll try to find him. Finals are a best two out of three. Oh, okay. Not quite as lengthy as the best of seven. You'd have to watch to understand. I got you. Mating call. It always freaks me out when stuff like this happens. Like, are there a bunch of fallow that are so late to their zones that at 1230 they're not there yet? But it was within a distance that we should be able to see it if it's... Where it... Oh. I just had a spot prompt for a second. Where he must have snuck through at? So long as it wasn't a great one, I don't really mind too much, but like I said, if they're not getting to their zones, it could be anything. Where are you at? Where does it show the max weight for animals? As in, like, maximum possible estimates and stuff? A lot of them are actually in the codex. So if we get Sir 12 going here on these tracks that I don't even see. If you look in the wildlife section, let's say you want to know max weight for like bobcats, it might say, it might not. That one doesn't. Let's pick a new species, because I think they more so do it for the new ones. Uh, kangaroo. Does it not say for them either? A lot of them are in here. All right, well either way, there are spreadsheets and stuff in the discords that have all those weights and stuff listed. I'd say it's gonna be more consistent to check that than the codex. So there's another, those tracks just appeared. There's another one that we shot. If there's blood within Sir 12's reach, which there's not, we would follow it. I think we're gonna ignore that one, otherwise we're just not gonna get through all of our spots. Is there a technique when placing decoys for geese? It literally doesn't matter. As long as you have 20 placed, you've got the maximum possible attraction. Great one that got away, it could be. I don't like that they're here now. That's a wide fella. That could be a diamond four, just because it's so wide set. I doubt it, but you never know. Gonna risk screwing them up too, but I don't actually see any other males. Can you go back to how you were? Okay. You know what? Oh no! I didn't have any more rounds loaded. That was gonna work. Oh, actually. Nobody saw that. What's your favorite albino? Uh... There's some good ones. I mean, the, the crocs look pretty darn cool, I'll tell you that. What would be my favorite? Maybe crocs. First was a warning shot. It was supposed to be to alert him, but I thought I had more rounds loaded, and I actually thought it was going to spook him. Like, the point was for him to go to fleeing. Just so happened that it only alarmed him, which was kind of a necessity if we wanted to kill him in that particular instance. So it worked out. I love how albino water beef changed the horns. It'd call the wild, do they? They do, huh? 
Yeah, they do. I was thinking classics definitely do. Albino Seco look awesome. They do. They are very good ones. Flashback to the albino quail you couldn't keep. I'm thinking it may actually be more likely that we do find one in the live game than initially expected. Only because there's been so many already killed in the community. I've seen 20 or 30 posted. All that for 220. Jeez. Alright, we'll fast travel up and around. Where do people post all the trophies they get? A bunch of different places. In my Discord, we've got a Call of the Wild Trophy Shots channel. In the official The Hunter Discord, they've got like a Fabled Ones chat. That's kind of where people post their grinds and grind trophies. They've got a trophy gallery. That's for, you know, basically any trophy. And they've got a uh, trophy lodge chat. Mostly for pictures of stuff actually in the trophy lodge. Jackson, thank you for the four months, by the way. Welcome back. Has it really been four months? That's flying by. Have you killed a diamond hog deer yet? I have not. I saw one really nice one like the last night of early access when everything was going on with the albino stubble quail, but it was a four and I think its max estimate was like 108 and diamond is basically 108, so it probably wasn't a diamond four or anything. So I don't know what's going on in this run, but we've actually only had like maybe now five bucks here. thing is, I just feel like at any time, when we're moving around here and claiming stuff, there may be more than just, I get to that point where they're 200 meters from where I spawn and they show up. Do you show level 9 croc? Fingers crossed, man. Just found my first and almost guaranteed diamond to my fallow grind. Not too bad. I think my first was like, max of 260 or something, he made it, but... Almost guaranteed is always good. So I say we grab that. Maybe check Boomerang Lake again because we went there and just had nothing our first trip. And then we'll probably do one final run today. It is a diamond, nice. Do you hunt the middle longer lake? Like the one that you start at when you start out on this map? I would go to the map, but we're here. That lake? Okay, got some does down there. Nothing. One buck. I think he's far enough away we're not going to be able to just alert him. Uh, Jackson, thank you for the $12 super chat, by the way. Gotta call out the 12. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you for the support. That's the one? Okay, gotcha. Alright, now we're in range to get his attention. I love this. This is like my favorite new kind of like uh, what do they call that? Like um oh my goodness, like an off-brand 22 strat? That's not the word I want, but what a, like a knockoff. That's, that's the phrase. If you're between 200 and 250 meters, just fire a warning shot into the air. I like it. Can you relate to eating late night ramen? At 12.30 last night. So, first of all, at like 10 o'clock after my classic stream, Kyle and I decided we were going to stay up late and grind fallow. So the first thing we did was get caffeinated. And then we messaged Mel, and we were like, do you want to hang out in a group chat and just shoot fallow for four hours? So that's what we did. However, our internet died at 12.30, so we only got two and a half hours of grinding in in voice chat, and then at that point, I went and took a break and ate chips and salsa because I was hungry. So I think, yes. Expensive 22 strat? It is for sure, but it's also, like, the thing that I love about it is it allows you to do something approximating the 22 strat while not needing to carry the 22, that's important in this case because I'm carrying tents and tripods because it allows me to, at any given time, quickly adjust my setup. How far away do you place tents from zones? About 200 to 250 meters. If you're under 200 meters, 
from where the animals spawn, they will just be invisible. You just will not be able to see them. So, I tend to err on the side of caution and go about 250 away just to be safe. Is the update better? I'd say the game as a whole is in a better place. The, the Emerald Coast Fantastic is a really good map. The Great One Fallow, while they're being mean and not spawning for us, are very, very cool. And multiplayer seems to be more stable. I played multiplayer, it wasn't for that long, I had like an hour and a half hunt today. But I was in two or three servers, I don't think I crashed or failed to synchronize once, so that was a huge plus. Alright, I say we do one last run and then we'll wrap up the stream, it's 10.30 already. One last run will put it almost 11 o'clock, three hour stream. I say we call that good. And then once we get going here on our last run, we'll see how many kills. I think we can make up for some of the lost time doing the coast and get back close to one fallow per minute for the entire three hours. Probably won't quite get to that, but it'll be close. First diamond of the grind, 261. That's a good first, man. Used to be that basically every diamond fallow was between 260 and 260, say, 7. You'd get them bigger than that, you'd get 270s, 276 was about as big as we would see. But now there's lots of 250 diamonds, and that never really happened before. I really need to go to sleep, gotta wake up tomorrow morning to go fly fishing at a river that's a bit further from the house, but I wanna watch this. There's always that chance that the Great One shows up, and then the reaction is live on stream. I think that's the, like, the whole lore of Great One streams, to be honest. Alright, let's get, come on, map load. It's funny that I don't know what tent to go to unless the map is there behind it. You'd think I'd be able to figure it out. Any diamonds today? None. We've shot... We'll be close to 180 fallow after this run. And we've had four rares. Two albinos, two pie balls. That's the crazy part. The lack of diamonds is what it is. That's just gonna happen sometimes, but... The odds of getting that many rares and no level fives, even. Seems really unlikely. I don't miss this. We used to deal with the fog all the time, and it hasn't been an issue as of late, but last two runs, right here in particular, ah, it's way late. We just haven't been able to see what we're doing. The lore of Great One Streams? Gotta be there to, to know all about it. Don't know that that shot was going to hit anyway, but would have been good if we were reloaded. Okay, that could have been way worse, so we'll take it. What round do you use in real life? I use a 7mm Mod 8. I think it's a 140 grain boat tail Remington... Uh, I'm missing one. It's the green and yellow box, whatever they call them. I can't think of the... As Paul Harrell would say, Remington green and yellow box, 140 grain boat tail, 7mm Mod 8, polymer tip. Some. <laughs> if I could say it as fast as he does. I think you're right, Dilly. Uh, what do you get micro stutters with? I don't know why I'm going over there. We didn't shoot any fallow down there. Didn't we shoot one that I hit poorly? Oh, it was just this white one, and we shot it twice. Is max for Crocs higher than 1100? It is, in fact, 1100. <laughs> Seeing the shots you hit just makes me want to give up and play in the game. Plenty of times I make enough shots that I'm missing that make me want to give up and stop playing the game, so... Sometimes I definitely have more lucky shots. Usually if I hit a really lucky shot, I won't say anything either. Unless it really shocks me. Because it's more fun to be like... <laughs> just not react. What... Diverse should I start in? What you mean? I like I didn't go anywhere. Well, good. That doesn't set us too far back, and we killed a bunch. I still haven't checked our total, and I want to do that. Have you ever done any long-range shooting in real life? Not really. I should, especially before I go to Wyoming for, like, pronghorn and stuff. But, uh, here in PA, in the areas that I hunt, there's really not even anywhere I gotta shoot 200 yards. So being practiced up on it isn't, like, a necessity. Uh, we are at... 100 and... 40, 134? Okay, we're, we'll be at like 160 then. That 
Coast Run just cost us with our really good rate, but at the end of the day, that area needs to be checked as well. If this fog could go away, that'd be pretty, pretty cool. I don't much care for that. All right. Um, they are in some awkward places here. They're moving quick today as well. I don't know how we got that. Twenty great ones of the counting wrong. Yes. Uh, so when they implemented a great one counter with the bloodhounds, or when they tried to in 2020, they screwed it up, and it was counting diamonds as the great ones. So I actually only have two. What rifle are you gonna use in Wyoming for pronghorn at least, and probably for mule deer, the uh, the 7 mm mod 8. When it comes to elk, I'll probably be bow hunting, but who knows? How many kills did it take to get the great one red deer? I think it was 5,400 or 5,600. For some reason, I, I can never remember what it was. Am I the only one that spends three hours getting all the outposts and watchtowers in every new map? In total, I guess I spend more time than that, but... I don't do it in one sitting. Do you run around to them, or do you take the ATVs? Because I like to just run. Do we only get two? I think we only got two. Got trolled by a hog deer and feral goat on the same day? Nothing like just starting out a new map with a bunch of trolls. Might as well, Dilly. And the, the sooner the better when it comes to starting to acquire preference points I'm sure you know about it but the point creep it's just always like it's always happening and it can be like ah next year I'll start putting in points but it only delays your hunt by more and more <laughs> gonna double the Wyoming population of my trip you're right Will you please review the Savage Axis 2 XP and 270? If I don't have to buy it. So far I killed a Troll Rusa, a Troll Fallow, and a Spotted Level 5... Oh, and Spotted the Level 5 Rogue Hope that's a guaranteed troll? Emerald Trollst, in a nutshell. What the heck just happened? It felt like we jumped and fell. It's weird. No Fallow there, so probably we've got a zone somewhere that's got Fallow that didn't used to definitely feels like we have like some changes going on what's preference points uh basically a lot of states when it comes to getting tags for particular animals like let me give me the opposite first so here in pa to get a deer tag all you got to do is pay for it if you want to shoot a buck and you have if you're a resident you have like 50 bucks you buy a deer license, you've got a buck tag. Whitetail are more abundant than something like, say, elk. So for elk in Wyoming, you can't just pay whatever you want and they give out as many tags as people that buy them. You need to draw a tag in a lottery system. Preference points basically just give you better odds of being drawn. There's a little bit more to it than that, but to simplify it, that's more or less what's going on. Uh, DJ Dilly, thank you for the super chat. Are you going to go back to the Great One grind for bear? I'd love to. I really want to. However, I... There's a five. I don't intend to uh, until we've got probably a Great One Fallow and a Great One Moose. That's a small five, but he might make it. The first five I've seen, I think, that's not chocolate fur type. Not all... Is, is it all them, Dilly? I think it's not all them, but I could be wrong. Take your time there, fella. There's a chance that's not long, but we apparently got it. I've had that enough times, those frontal shots where I go for heart and don't hit it. Somehow that bullet find his way, finds his way above the heart and between the lungs and gets nothing. Only took 2 hours and 35 minutes and 100 and almost 50 kills to get one level 5 to show up. 
Definitely not the same rate of fives that other crimes tend to get. This was the location of... That looks like a five, too. That's a big four. Um, I think my last two diamonds came from here, though. Now that I think of it. Not this zone, but this lake. That 180 buck was crazy. It's is This is definitely a good thing. But it definitely feels like that's going to be the one deer I'll probably be associated with forever. And I am very pleased about that. I think this is going to troll. Yep. <laughs> 230. It's a good weight too. Like 95 plus kilo. And he's uh, 11 shy of diamond. I think this 4 has a shot. He's a chocolate. So, you know, they like me better. They also make me hungry. Twelve out of twelve shooting. I think I just hit that doe. Totally did. Great. Uh, we probably won't track that one. Oof. It's quite all right. Same thing with the moose, although fallow diamonds show up more often and seem to make diamond more often. Doesn't matter how many fives we see, we just need 110. Gear troll was 238 as well. I forget what my two were. There's probably too many messages in my group chat for it to be worth my time. Saw a level 12 line the other day. Holy... I think great one should be level 12, to be honest. That's the doe that respawns into an albino. It's going to happen eventually. We're clipping enough does that it's bound to happen. Is there a band tank hauler? There is not. Why are great ones level 12? It's a missed opportunity, to be honest. Level 12 is the greatest one. I wouldn't be shocked if this guy outscores that. Five. Yep. <laughs> not diamond, but 242 for him. Yeah, we're not tracking that. Unless he would be laying like along the water or something. It ain't worth it. So let's see, we could go Boomerang Lake yet. I feel like I'm missing something in this run. Could have done it for the meme. It's a shame, really. Nobody here yet. They seem to be really late at this spot. Which is fine. Probably too early to go here. Already been there. I just don't know where else. Unless I'm just completely forgetting about a spot. I don't think I am. Just ran an actual 12 miles to get my fourth troll roo. They're the worst, man. Like, they're such a cool animal. But it just... It's such sag that they troll all the time. Like I said, I've got a kangaroo hunt coming up in tomorrow's video. And... We may or may not have encountered quite a number of level 9s. And what I said in the video was something to the effect of at some point you just gotta pretend the small ones are level 8s. Is that blood? No, that's poop. PA changed the doe tag system this year? Thank goodness for no more pink envelopes. I hated those things. It always... It, it got better, but going back to even just when I first started sending doe tags and when I first got started hunting... It was a little bit different. If you were under the age, quite literally, of 12, you couldn't get a doe tag. You could only have a buck tag. So at 12, when I started sending for doe tags, you had to be, like, so exact with those pink envelope things. If you filled out anything wrong, like, if you... If your uh, zip code wasn't super legible, if you, like misspelled, I don't know, the name of your uh, county treasurer or anything. They would just throw it out immediately. They would just, they wouldn't, <laughs> you wouldn't get that tag. I think the online system is going to be so much better. 
How a shame, how dear nice. Do you stream randomly or do you have times? I do have a stream schedule, but two factors have me streaming a little more often lately. Number one is the new content and the fact that like Emerald Coast, fellow great ones, not only are they interesting to you guys as viewers, or obviously you wouldn't be here, they also are very interesting to me. Like I've just enjoyed them a lot. The probably more important factor is a combination of time and weather. The high today was 60 something degrees, like it's June 22nd. It's late for it to be in the 60s as a high. It gets stupid hot in here during the days with these computers running, like it's basically having two space heaters. But the weather's so cool, we've had the windows open all day and it's nice and cool in here, so it's more bearable to stream and have the air conditioner off. How long is left for the stream? Uh, whatever's left of this run, so probably 15 minutes. Reason I didn't take a quad this time, we're gonna come up around this edge and see what's on this zone. Can a level four make diamond? Um, I think so. I shot a level four that was 249.4, which makes him 0.5 below diamond. Anybody in this zone? I don't see anything. Here in Oregon it was 80? That's pretty toasty. I, most of this week looks like rainy and kind of chilly. All that way for two average males. And I didn't shoot well. If I would just take an extra second to catch my breath sometimes. The shooting has deteriorated. It's time to retire. Now New England's the only map I need outposts for? Well, it's such a good map. It's not. I wouldn't even be worried about getting the outposts. Fallow Great One's probably the best from a content standpoint. High amounts of kills in short time combined with a grind that seems to be pretty short on average means better viewer engagement. Yet, yeah, the longer grinds... Like, I'm really perfectly happy to do this and do fallow videos, you know, once or twice a week for maybe up to a month. And then after that, I'm just like, okay, I can't do nothing but fallow content. This is going to get boring. Moose and Bear, I basically took that same approach. Probably didn't stream as much for Moose because they came out in hunting season and believe it or not, uh, that makes it challenging. But the Bear were the same deal. They came out in the summer. I was grinding. I mean, I had... 2,000 kills in the first week or so. But it'll be the same thing with Fallow. If we do get far enough down the road that it's like a month in and we don't have a great one, I'll probably be slowing down the amount of Fallow content. I sure hope that doesn't happen. Level 4 with an estimate 242 to 283. Not bad. I want to say that one I had that was a 249. His estimate was 247 minimum or something. Do you remember the ATV guy from when you got the diamond kudu? The ATV guy was you? Wait, was it really? <laughs> That's awesome, man. What even happened there? I'm trying to remember the whole... There was the ATV, the kudu ran around... I can't remember actually what happened after that. All I know is... I ended up, like, running it down and shooting it, standing there. The real reason is I have to keep up with Kyla, it's true. Not only is Kyla a fallow killing machine, she's also a great one killing machine. Like, she got her great one bear in like 400 kills. What needs to happen is, so uh, I mentioned earlier we're planning a hunt in Kentucky. So what needs to happen is, Aaron, Will, and I need to get in a group chat for this planning, and the reason is, I think the last two great ones Kyla has killed has been during planning sessions for hunts. It's that or it's right before oh, true, I forgot about the moose. Yeah, like, the day or two before we leave for a Christmas vacation of some kind, Kyla kills great ones then, too. <laughs> we love inconsiderate people, then you'll love my family. Is that what that... Was aimed at. <laughs> uh, 
Oh my. That took 12 shots? Dude, it was so bad. Like, I, I, I'm either... I'm just... My luck of good shots has run out, or I need to go to bed. Because I'm definitely not shooting how I was. I don't plan to go to bed after this. I mostly just plan to wrap up the stream and probably grind for a little bit longer. Problem is, you stay up till 2 a.m. one night grinding fallow. And you sleep in. And then... You're probably up late the next night. It's just... Life when you want to get a great one, I guess. What combo moves does Kyla have? Spider Rack and Oak Fur type. You know, the fur type I wanted. Ooh, that might have been too low. Alright, we got at least. No, we got all three. I can still sometimes shoot. Is that an albino? That's just the white fur type. Otherwise, I'd have shot him first. So that's that spot. Uh, we could recheck Boomerang Lake, I guess. I'm getting more and more interested in my kill total for the entire stream. That's going to put us at 150 on the dot. That ain't bad. We did moose for six hours and got less than that total. So like, <laughs> less than half the time, more than twice the kills. I've been saying Great One Fallow feels a lot more achievable. I think that pretty well demonstrates it. Living the Great One life. The only problem is we don't seem to have the Great One. You missed an opportunity, KFLO, to say these ruse are kicking me off, but... It's okay. Imagine the Great One spawns after the stream. So, my Great One, Red Deer, it actually spawned about this time, because I streamed until 9.30. It was a Wednesday night stream for Classic. I got him at about 11 o'clock after a fairly late stream, so... There's some precedent for it. Definitely feel like, you know, we're at 650 kills now. That's not a long grind by any stretch, but we're in that that zone where it's kind of like the, it could happen at any moment. I always feel the first 500 to 1,000 kills, it's just like, I got to get to the point where he spawns. Fast grinds happen, but I've never had one. <laughs> so I, I certainly don't look at it like I expect that. What's happening here? Be amazing if this is a great one track, because this is a zone that hasn't been here. It's a big male track. Swap sides. How much longer are we streaming? Uh, just a couple of minutes. We're going to wrap up this fallow run and be done. It's an okay one. So there were other tracks. I don't think it was just him. But I don't see more. Oh, hello. This has to be a one-shot kill. Or a miss. The reason it had to be a one-shot kill is that fella heard it. So if we shot twice, it just would have spooked him. Just found a five fallow. Nice. Yeah, there's another track here. Is this the great one track? One day it'll happen. We'll find a great one by the track. I've always wanted that to happen. Today is not that day. All right. Um... I think that's all the spots minus this chaotic place. That sailed tw 12, 12 over, 12 feet, 12 miles. It wasn't close. It was it was pretty bad. <laughs> Tips on killing every hog deer known to man. They drink 13 to 17 and they're at most lakes and, and honestly a lot of places along the river. That's a five. Nope. Big four. I believed. Is it just the two? And then... Hey, another pie bold. <laughs> it's a day for rares and not for diamonds, clearly. If we are slow about this... Shoot that guy. That guy hurt it. Pie bold really hurt it. Give him a minute to calm down. Trolled by big fours. They're closer than the fives anyway, so like, you know. Those does are out of here. That guy's chilling. I'm gonna give him time. Whenever... Yeah, when he's back to attentive, we can now shoot the pie. Just killed a 98.5... Grey Wolf? What? That'll get the pie. That guy's alert. 
guy's dead. And, despite the fact that they were terribly spaced out, got them all with no tracking needed. Got my first great one today after 450 plus kills was a red deer. Nice, man. Nobody else gonna spawn over there? What a weird, like, spacing out of our fallow this time. We'll have to pay attention. I'm trying to... Oh, there we go. Also not a five. Come on. Stop being big fours. I was ready to say that's a five too, but I decided not to say it because I was just wrong. <laughs> and it was still a four. Your voice is literally so calming during the streams. Why, thank you. I'm here to be a calming force. Like ASMR, but not whispering. Although I did just whisper, actually. I spy my five, but it was a troll. I did something like that on our uh, Emerald Coast stream with Mel and KC. It was a sandbar that I shot right in the guts. Pretty troll. All right, so this guy was a 245. I mean, there's reason to think that was a five. He's bigger than the five we shot. Calm of the wild. I should start naming my streams that. I feel like that's conceited in a way, though. Like I am the calm guy. Like, I don't, I don't want to advertise myself as that. Everybody says that, and that's cool, but I don't want to, like, you know what I mean? Hey, where the heck did you guys come from? I think we got him, uh, maybe not, in the guts. Now he's dead. I keep on thinking every time that we come here and get, like, three males. Like, maybe this lake's kind of not good anymore. Then we go around and start claiming, then we get two over there, three back there, and it ends up being like eight. And that we can live with. Five rares in one stream. I know we went for three hours, which is longer than a typical stream, but... we have I can pretty confidently say none of our grinds have ever gotten us five rares in the same stream. You could get into narrating audiobooks. You know, if it ever happened that YouTube just, like... Decided that hunting game content wasn't cool and told me to go kick rocks and get a new job. That would be something I'd consider. That's another gold. However, I do wonder, because I'm not good at like enunciating words and stuff. I wonder if that would be like not good for <laughs> for the job, you know? Just had another five? I just get big fours that look like fives. So is this the most rares you've gotten out of a grind? At least in, like, the amount of kills that we've had, for sure. I mean, in total, we've killed seven rares or so already. Like, in all of our latent moose grind, which I actually don't remember what we were at with that. Over 2,000? Maybe 22? Yeah, about 2,200 harvest on latent. I think I had, like, four rare moose. 243! So we've had... A level 5 troll, all this run, a level 5 troll and I think three level 4s that have been higher than the 5 was. <laughs> I'd delete YouTube if they get rid of Call of the Wild YouTubers. It's a... At this point, it's a pretty big niche on YouTube. I mean, I'm sure there are games that are a smaller niche. Call of the Wild itself is a very niche game, but it's really taken off in the last, like, three years. Many things have with COVID, to be fair. Were all the rares piebald? Two albinos. Very, very small albinos. Alright, we have two more to go, but we'll figure our total number of kills from the entire stream. Which was... Too shy of 160. 158. Not too bad for three hours. More than 50 an hour. I think if we didn't run the coast, we'd have been at 60 an hour, but... What do you do? You gotta check it out. There could be a great one sitting there. Like our great one, Red Deer, that we got. He was... Why is there a five there now? <laughs> just can't leave this lake. Anyway, uh, he was at a spot that we weren't grinding, so you just have to check those spots, too. Just the... The typical spotted color. That dude is out there. We'll get closer. Oh, hi. 
I don't think that one's a troll, but maybe. Now that he's stopped... That'll work. Back to here. What MNK do you use? Uh, I don't know what that is. How many kills have you got? In total, we would now be at 660 with these two. Casual level 5 out on a stroll? He's just out here doing his thing. Living his best life. I don't normally get the does run around like this. Typically, once we've gone through and spooked everything, it's just bucks to do that. Are you familiar with Pokemon shiny hunting? It's like great one grinding before the Hunter Call of the Wild? I certainly am. I've never had a shiny. Other than like, you know, Red Gyarados and uh, Crystal. We got a diamond. 251.87 It's barely a diamond. You'd think a lad could get a diamond fallow every time you grind for fallow in this game for this long, but took a while. Where was that other one at? Somewhere. Where was it? We dropped it. I thought it was like right here somewhere. There he is. Blends in with a mud. I knew there'd be another male. They just don't want us to leave. And that is okay. Only took you 12 hours? I know, right? So that makes four diamonds on the grind. Three trolls. We have as many fives as rares now. So that's good. <laughs> oh, grounded a gold albino's double quail. That's, that's sad. When should we shoot fives? I'm assuming you're stacking and I don't know how any of that works. I shoot fives when I see them. Because I likes to shoot the big males. Okay, unless we have another one show up, which wouldn't shock me. We are going to go back to the Grind Lodge. We have, what, like five things, six things from this stream to place? And I don't think we have the space for it, but we'll figure it out. Time to wait 12 years till your next Diamond Fallow at this rate, man. No kidding. At least we got a diamond that wasn't the chocolate first time. I just thought of that. Alright. I forget where we're at now. 162 for the stream. Not too bad. I can't help but wonder if we're just going to end up taking down Red Deer and stuff, but we'll try to find other places. Is that the best way to grind? Just to kill every male you can? Well... Depends on what you're grinding for. I'm still not sure I believe it, but everybody says that herd management doesn't help with great ones. So in theory, you shouldn't herd manage if you want a great one. But then again, everybody herd manages when they want a great one, so I don't really get that. New to the channel, what are we grinding for? We're basically wrapping up our fallow grind for today. We ended up getting five rares and one diamond, which is definitely not a bad deal. That's our biggest rare fallow ever at 217. We'll leave him in the grind lodge for now, because I would like to think by the end of all this, we'll get an even better one. But we shall see. Third kangaroo troll. That's not fair. Is this like a great one lodge? It's a lodge of things that we like grinded for. This is also the reason these two spots are empty, because we've had things here. That's where I, like, all the things that, that fallow deer in the thumbnail when you clicked on this stream, right? The things that I cut out, I placed them right here. There he is, right there. This may or not be a spoiler. This is the fallow that's in the thumbnail. Place them right here. Take a nice screenshot of them. And I cut them out in Photoshop. That's why those spots are empty. And I guess even though it's sort of a spoiler. Just slap that guy right there. The big males are insane in this lodge. There's a lot of stuff from quite a few thousand kills. I'm nowhere near, I, I know Mel has, I don't know, 12,000 moose, 12,000 whitetail. Don't even know how many red deer and 
bears and fallow deer, but all of our grinds combined, we're well over 10,000 kills now for the things that have gone into this lodge, which is more than I ever thought I'd grind for. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this stream. We at least got ourselves a diamond and five more rares. We're at 664 or something total kills on this fallow grind. And hopefully, if things go to plan, or kind of if things don't go to plan, I should mow the grass this weekend, but I think it's going to rain. Therefore, I can't mow the grass. So we might be doing more fallow streams this weekend. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Wait. Nope. Tomorrow's stream. There's not a video tomorrow. <laughs> this is what happens when I stream other days. We're going to go back to Emerald Coast. It'll be over on Twitch. It's good times. Okay, see you there. Bye.